G'day and welcome into a new campaign for Divide and Conquer Total War, a mod for Medieval 2, and it's going to be the Clans of Enid Waith. And I hope I've said that correctly. If I haven't, then I'm going to be saying it wrong a lot of times. Um, this is going to be an exciting campaign. Um, we uh, never played the Clans of Enid Waith before. So, not in previous versions, not in version 5. I know there's been a big overhaul in version 5, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, and uh, and I'm flying blind. So, of any of the campaigns that I could probably make some significant errors, this is probably going to be the one. Um, because we're in the middle of the map, there's a lot of factions around us. Um, like, I hadn't played the Harad campaign, but it was fairly straightforward. Um, so, we are going to have a lot of factions around us and we'll see how we go. Um, welcome in Blarant, welcome in Tangled. Got to learn your jabs. Yes, and I, I know it's all about the jabs. Let's have a look at what we're looking at. Ranged focus faction, uh, including archers as well as as well as jab. Poor cav. I mean, as long as we have some cav, I'm happy. Uh, strong javelin units, obviously, and we have a big unite the clan script and uh, we'll, we'll be having a look at that. Noble units. I mean, the pronunciation on these is going to be is going to be quality. Te crocole cosatori, dub dub scythe foresters, mordag fishermen. No, oh, skirmishers. Fishermen. I thought they were fishermen. Mordag fishermen. I'm sure that's actually fishermen, not skirmishers. Very hard, very hard. Managed cities. Um, long victory conditions. Hold forty regions. Now, there are no factions that we have to destroy. It's because this is a neutral campaign. We can side with whoever we wish, uh, basically. Although, um, I think our script requires us to probably go to war with at least Dunland and depending, um, maybe a couple of others, depending on where we need to take. Uh, so it is neutral, but then we have some, some wiggle room with where we can go and what we can do. Welcome in, Driz. Bam, right on time. Welcome, welcome. I call them the crocodile tears. Ti crocacole cosatori. <laughs> um, we have our leader, Moot Speaker Tremak, the heir chieftain Harak, and our capital is, is Alf Alflud. Gee, my goodness. It's going to be good. A fairly numerous but barbarous fisher folk dwelt between the mouths of the Guathlo and the Andron, tribes of wildmen, fishers and fowlers. On the coasts of Enidwaith, Enidwaith, who were akin to race and speech to the Drudain of Anorian. Ah, interesting. Okay, so the Drudain hunters. I wonder if we get access to those. Um, Enidwaith is bounded by the north, to the north by the Guathlo River, to the west by the ocean, to the south by the White Mountains, and to the east by the Misty Mountains. This does, does give the clans various choke points to hold enemies out of the heartlands. I do. It's Oh, it's one of my best units. Sweet. I do get them. Awesome. Um, the clans are totally independent nation and you have total freedom to choose who your enemies will be. Dunlon starts on your eastern border with Isengard only a little further beyond them. South lies the great realm of Gondor and they will not be expecting attack from the rabble in Inithwaith. Crossing the Guathlo will bring you into combat with both Bree and the Northern Dunedain. And whilst the former will may, may prove easy pickings, the latter will be a challenge to defeat. There are many rebel regions in the old lands of Cardolan and Minhirath, so you'll have time to expand before you must declare war. I always am skeptical of these types of lines. You'll have time to do, you'll have time to prepare before war. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, I've I've read things like this before, and it's like turn three, declaration of war. So uh, yeah, I guess I had two turns to to prepare. Um, Military overview. The clans rely heavily on ambush and guerrilla warfare, being neither the most numerous nor the strongest of people in Middle-earth. Their poor technological state and disunified nation leaves them outmatched by almost all other forces initially. The free folk of Inithway do have one strength. The javelins. Oh! Javelin men! No other nation fields such deadly javelin throwers, and even the walking immortals known as the Eregian Smiths will fall like flowers before the hail of Inithway javelins. Well, I'm gonna have to see it. Special features unite the clans, unconventional recruitment, Athamore reclamation, must unlock cities and strongholds, ambush specialists, the rare units, the crocodile tears as we're branding them, and the dragon boats. Okay. Um, as per usual with the first episode of a series, 
Um, it will be a little bit of kind of like a, a faction overview when we get into the campaign map, looking through what we can do, what the scripts are, what's available. Um, and uh, and we'll see how we go. Very hard, very hard. Manage, show. Okay. Don't bet on that. Isengard likes to attack early. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure they will. I'm just hoping Rohan slows them down a little bit. I kind of don't want to attack Gondor because Gondor will be holding back Mordor and, you know, and Isengard as well. I feel like Isengard and Dunland are going to attack me. So, oh, I have to attack Dunland, I think, for my script. So, we'll see how we go. Okay. If the sound isn't quite right, we'll tune it. Um, we'll look at the sound uh, once we get through the initial messages. So, most of this is fairly standard um in if you haven't read this before or if you haven't played divine conquer before i encourage you to read through all of these um so i'm just looking for things that affect us okay so we are restricted um so earthwaith unlock cities large cities and strongholds through their respective scripts okay so same as the Anduin veil um we do have access to special boats I think that's about all that affects us there, um, specifically. Now this, I believe, is just the... Yeah, that's just the uh, flavor script, so I'll just go through that slowly. We're friends with the Druidane, not the Dunedain, or Dunedain. Okay, so if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to pause if you want to read the, uh, the lore information, but we'll just... Have a look through that. Now, I think this is our, our script information. So we'll have a read of, have a read of this. We are the Mok or Mochani, Mochanini. Oh, I don't know. Long have we served as guardians of Alfkud and the clan mood itself. And now once again, does one of our own, our chieftain Tremak, serve as the speaker of the moot. And yet times have never been more dire. The clans of Eadwaith are now beset on all sides by foes with, new, with few friends in this world, and there are whispers of the shadow mustering its strength in the far east. Our traditional rivals for the speaker's position, the Liadun, have abandoned the clans and now crouch behind the walls of Londair. To the east, our warlike kin in Dunland are used as pawns by the White Wizard and once again march against us. To the northeast, there are rumors of growing powers within the Misty Mountains, and refugees from Rohan speak of outright war between Isengard and Edoras. Before we can turn our attention to those threats, we must deal with matters at home. For the clans stand at an idea. Bandits and usurpers and traitors have overtaken the ancestral clan seats of our fellow clans, and only Alfud is still held by the peoples of this land. As expected, the clan moot has long been in debate with each, other, with each clan, arguing that their home should be reclaimed first. Finally, however, a decision has been made on these matters. The Speaker Tremak shall be authorized to command the full might of the clans and has been tasked with reclaiming all of our lands one by one. To assist, the secretive and respected Dub Scythe Duneth has conveyed the approval of his order and will fight with us personally. The other chieftains cannot fight with us as their time is consumed by managing the effects of this great turmoil upon their lands. Or clans. Many people have been displaced and many livelihoods lie in ruin. The chieftain of the Falani, however, ever ready for battle, and bloodshed has issued us a challenge. Should we reclaim the seat of the Falani, the ancient Dunedain castle of Argond, then he will personally lead his honor guard onto the field. Sadly, therefore, the vast majority well, that's a long way away. Sadly, therefore, the vast majority of the clans can only aid us indirectly for the moment. But as we construct various industries befitting each clan, then we will call forth their levies to fight. Furthermore, the reclamation of each clan seat will allow us to, to call on the support of the elders of each clan as their stores of arms and armor are returned to them and housed in bespoke muster grounds. In time, the foolishness of the Liadan must also be seen to and they must be made face reason or perish. Although no clan calls the barren lands of Saralane or La Ferran home, we must also reclaim them to secure our borders. Finally, the threat of Dunlin must also be addressed. Our wayward kin have sworn themselves fully to the White Wizard, preferring to seek vengeance for the crimes of the past rather than look to the future. Labeling us as weak-willed fools, they would rather die in battle than seek a peaceful reconciliation with us. Our only option will be to defeat them in the battle they crave, 
and show them the proof of our conviction. We are confident, however, that may peace that many peaceful Dunlendings, ostracized on account of their forgiving natures, will join us if we establish our muster grounds in their lands. So we can get Dunlending troops if we build it in their lands. Uh, once these threats have been dealt with, then shall we turn our attention to the future, whatever that may be. The reclamation must come first. So to progress the script, the following regions must be united under Inithwaite's banner. Lugue, Malfin, Angren Bay, Maulurada, Hio, Roski, Lafarin, Caladia, Erin Vaughan, Saralane, Caril, Dunlan Lowlands, Dunlan Border, and Dunlan Proper. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of territories. <laughs> and that's a that's a um a wide area of them as well. Like Erin Vaughan is is like all the way over here. Um uh, I think this is Langren Angren Bay down here. We've got Dunlan proper is all the way over here. Um Yeah, so that's like this whole Argond is up up to the north across the river over here. So that is a large section of land. It is indeed massive area. Whew. You'll need Tharbat eventually too. Um, okay. Let's have a look at what any additional information here. So yeah, a bit of we've read that. We're middleman culture. So that's our culture we need to build up. So unconventional recruitment, special features. At the start of the game, Inthwaite lacks a conventional military and infrastructure. Like Bree, they must initially rely on their economic buildings to recruit their militia and weaker units. However, their more powerful units and elites come from the clan moot mustering ground and barracks. Welcome in Brisbane Baron. Love to have you here. It's not listed there. Okay, well, I wonder if it's listed in this section about Tharbad. So we get units like Bree from economic structures, but then once we get our script done, I'd say we get them from the clan root, clan root mustering ground. Okay, our stronger units. So Confederation of Athelmore. By reclaiming lands in Earthwaith and Dunlin, you can unlock, you can reforge the Confederation of Athelmore. This will unlock cities, large cities, strongholds, the third tier of blacksmiths and your most elite units. The regions you must rec reclaim and hold are Lugu, seat of the Mokchani. Well, I think that's where I am. Maelfin, seat of the Leodan. Kyril, seat of the Mord Mordag. Eo, Roskir, seat of the Phelan. Mayu, Rulak, seat of... I'm, I'm, man, I'm giving up. Seat of the Kifi. Angren Bay, seat of the Barsich. Besich. Kaladir, seat of the Falani and Erin Vaughan, great circle of Dubsythe. Leifinia, Dunlan Lowlands, Dunlan Border, Dunlan Proper, and Saralane. Additionally, Tharbad, here we go. Additionally, Tharbad must be occupied and the Tyr Hokuil constructed in it to reforge the nation. So a building. Reclaiming regions with clan seats will also provide you with more powerful troops and allies from those clans. And conquering Dunland will allow you to recruit Dunlanding units from those regions. Okay, so we got level one and two armor, we get level three with the with the up with the uh, script. Cities largely strongholds with the script, and of course we are So we are counted as a good faction. Oh. Oh no, we can do We can do either? So we can do either with the ring. That's interesting. Okay. Now, let me just fix up sound. Oh, the music's been terribly low. Probably good while I was reading. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's see what we're dealing with here. As I said, a little bit of a faction um, overview. Also, my camera I've adjusted today because of the... I think when I'm streaming during the day, the, the light reflecting off the white wall is just so bright um so i've tried to knock out most of that and only kind of in the corner now um so the camera has been repositioned a little bit let's have a look so our structures we start with large town we have a unique building the clan moot public order bonus due to happiness or and five percent and five percent due to law one percent culture bonus increase and our diplomat well that's not much of a special building is it <laughs> i guess the Okay, so, so we're more happy in our capital. Wonderful. Doesn't really do a lot. 
Um, gets a diplomat as well. Okay, so we got seat of the mock Chinese. So this is, I imagine there's going to be one of these structures in pretty much all of the areas. So this gives us armor piercing lads and our, probably one of our better units. Um, effect against armor. Yeah, javelins. Javelins plus effect against armor. This is a really good unit. Um, so, okay. So we get that. We have meeting hall, which we get our clan heralds, which is our general unit. Now we have fisheries. This is our unique structure, I think, for Inthwaith. Inthwaith. Um, so culture, trade, population growth. Very similar to the, the Averies for Anduin Vale. And we get fishermen from there. That's axe throwers with AP and melee too. Oh yeah, okay. So they are very good. Uh, so we get fisheries. I think there's two tiers of them as well. Feasting hall. We get an upgraded inn. I guess we get Kifi Huntsman from the inn. Valen border guards from the from the land currents. Anything from the roads? No, nothing from the roads. Okay. Uh, let's just have a look. So I just want to see because they said it's like Bree that we get units from. Okay, so we get. The armor piercing lads from the leather worker as well. Nothing from guild house. Oh, we haven't unlocked our boats yet. Okay. Nothing from the port though. Sea trade. Nothing there. Marketplace. Nothing from the market. What? No more honey. Now fishies. Yeah, that's it. We're, we've switched out honey for fishes. So all the honey puns need to go away and replace them with, um, <laughs> with fish puns. Nothing from roads. We checked uh, farms. Give the border guards. Uh, oh, hello. Ooh. They're jav cab, aren't they? Six missiles and nine missile attack. Okay. So we want to probably get that reasonably early. I'd like to get some cab on the field. Uh, so that was from the... That's from the livestock farming. Mines. Oh, it's a decent mine. So it might be worth getting early. We get Archer's Guild. Ooh, Druidine Hunters and the Foresters. Okay. Foresters are pretty much like an, a ranger unit. Yeah, six missile attack, 215 high. Yeah, so they're pretty good. Um, gathering Halls, Entertainment. Entertainment gives us the Huntsman. Nothing unusual there. Garrison, Town Health. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Fisheries. Fisheries give us the Fisherman. Okay, Psst. okay, four javelins on those. And then we have the clan moot muster ground. I wonder, can I get a better version of that? Okay, so I imagine that will be other units in there as well once we unlock the various factions, clans. Um, but we, oh, okay, I like this. Melee weapon bonus. Okay, so we get melee weapon bonus from the clan moot barracks. Okay, that's really good. Clan seats. Oh, this is a special building in Tharbad. Free upkeep, public order, diplomat, and our unique unit. Oh, they look good. 15 and 21 with a 12 javelin. Wow. Nine charge. Okay, they look very good. Skilled against mounts as well. Against armor. What? Okay, they look very good. Okay, that's a, that's a fitting reward. That's a very good looking unit. Um, Tharbad Bridge we can rebuild as well. Fisheries is two levels of. We looked at that. I don't think there's anything else. Okay. And of course, we don't have access to large towns until we upgrade the, the script. Um, you like the honey puns? Whole new level of unsophisticated beardies. <laughs> You're going to miss the honey puns. Driz, dad mode, welcome in as well. Uh, 9 missile AP cav. Only problem is they have terrible charge and attack and can't really take a hit. Oh, they can recharge and they can chase down units. That's what you need cav for early. Axe throwers again. No AP in melee though. Okay. They still have they have effect against um, cav though, which is pretty good. Those The uh, super elites. Right. So this is our position. So we have... I'm guessing this is the forester dude. And we have some elders. They're the chanting lads. Skilled against mounts. There's not many of them, 47, but they're pretty elite. And then in here we have three of the armor piercing, a couple of fishermen. I imagine this is... Yes, my lord. Oh, I imagine one here. Uh, I don't really... We'll just move him out one tile. What's he got? Oh, he's the... Our, our special, basically, this clan's elite unit. 
Effective against armor, axe thrower, and in melee. Nice. Okay, that's pretty good. 10 and 16 is a, is a nice nice stat line. Uh, I'll just leave you there until I decide what I'm doing. Actually, I probably want to put you in to build things. Now, I think this settlement, um, Londaire, from memory, has a huge um, neutral force in it. I'm just thinking about where I want to go here. I'll say this is where I'm flying, completely flying blind. Each clan seat will give you a custom general when you take their seat. Full stack. Oh, it's a full stack. Yeah, okay. So I don't want to go there. I, I feel like I was thinking about this today before I went live. What if I, I come down here, take this one, Long Angrand, I think, and then keep going south and take uh, this castle here and then try and get trade with Gondor. That's That's my plan. To go boom, boom, send an army down, take the trade, uh, and then maybe swing back. See if see if Isengard has taken any of this by this point, um, and try and have this as kind of like my front line because this is where I can recruit units. So that's okay, I've got two forts here as well, so I can really I can heavily fortify this area and just have troops sitting in free upkeep um, here, ready to respond. So I think that's my plan. Balorn, yeah. So I go take Longangren and Balorn as a starting point and try and get trade with Gondor. I think that's that's what I want to do. So take Karas early or Isengard will take it and attack Alfkud. Well, if I take Karas, they'll just attack me at Karas, right? Um, I'd rather defend here where I've got the recruitment and and a stronger defense. This is what I'm saying. I want to use this as my, as my bastion. Um, although... They could then attack either of the other two, couldn't they? We may just have to go to war with Isengard early. It may be bang, bang, and then to war with Isengard over Karas. Um, cause I, I want to scoop these two and get Balorn before Gondor gets it. I hope Gondor doesn't go to war with me. I want to get a diplomat out early and try and um, jump back in there. Your free upkeep there. I'm probably going to leave you to govern and send this guy to go fight. At least for now, until we get another general um, who can govern. I think that's what we'll do. In your campaign, you beelined Isengard, killed them by turn 24. Yeah, I think like the, the ultra giga move here is to go and just try and kill Isengard and Dunlin really quickly. Um, but I'm really, really inexperienced with Anywaith, and I don't, I don't feel as comfortable pushing the limits of this faction like I would push the limits of other factions. So if we're coming south here, yes. just go along the road. Um, join yes, them up. Drop a tower host. on that border. This tower will okay, so that's nice. The um, Lord, there are some bandits, but I don't know if I will need them. I think we'll just leave the bandits. Uh, and there's, I know there's a settlement here somewhere. Try and get as much movement Honor. as possible. I definitely Making want to get them next turn. Here. That's fair. Yeah, look, I'll, I'll, I'll still probably, once we get a bit of a feel for things, but I think we're going to be going to war with Isengard early. I think they typically push this way against Enid Wraith, so I'm not expecting anything different. I definitely want to get a unit of those queued up and really probably just the things that... Uh, let me just grab those and we'll just spread them out in the forts. Uh, really? Oh, I want to spy probably first so we can start converting culture. Um, and a diplomat and probably one of those um, so then what is our best options obviously Mason's Hall is good I feel like we're going to be upping taxes 5-6 so we're losing money right now mm. we, we don't need huge population right now because we, we don't need the next tier we've got all the structures we have access to right now um, I just want to stay positive income. Yeah, so that's going to keep us just in the green. I don't want to be losing money. <sighs> I think we just go for one tier of the Mason's Hall. It's only two turns. Go one tier in the Mason's Hall and then and then we'll look at like mines. Maybe the Fisherman's Guild House. Maybe the chicken farming. Get the Fulani Herders going. Um, We'll have, we'll have some money next time. I don't, I don't want to lose money. I know this is going to upset people going very high taxes, but um, I think for now, we've still got 1.5% growth, so it's not terrible. Right, I think that's it. Do we do we not have any... Oh, we don't have any agents? Got to abuse jabs to really get those kind of wins. 
The music for Ian Braith is excellent. Unfortunately, not for me. I'm running the copyright free music. Uh, it is one of the things I do miss. Um, this is weird that um, I don't start with any... Any agents? It's got to be like the only faction that doesn't start with... Um, doesn't start with an agent, a diplomat or a spy. Dab mode, your Angmar is your Angmar campaigns is nuts. Pushed out Luan all the way to the mountains, but now playing Tuggle with Kazadoom at Goblin Town. Fortunately, only a few turns from the Witch King. Nice. Sounds good. Hard campaign is a fun campaign. Oh, look at this. Nice. So we got we went the right way. Two thousand for taking Long Angerand. Perfect. See that almost, that feels like I'm doing the right thing, you know. Yes. Now we can still access that bandit here. Now I really want to siege it this turn. So just creep forward. Yes. There it is. There. Okay. So Your probably just open field. With honor to battle. With um, to that will have yes. towers. Oh, maybe not. That might be the middleman one that's um just got the 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 fort on the like the the hill but no towers, I think. It's the palisade, no towers. Yeah. Hmm. That will be I have two woodland hunters which really are very good archers. Um, As you command. Yes. I don't know, we might just wait out the siege. Woodland Hunters are very good. They have very high miss missile attack. A five missile attack. They will cut through my... Yes, my lord. My lads. And I don't have archers myself. I got one archer, I guess. Uh, I, mean, I guess that was... I, I, I assumed it was a... Yeah, it is, yeah. I didn't think I actually looked at him. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay, spy, you're gonna head down here. My lord. Hmm. Let's come have a look over here first. Hmm. Impossible. What's the culture here? Seventy-eight percent. Oh, it is already middleman culture. Okay, that's good. Right, let's get the diplomat. Yeah, just queue all of these up. I do want all of them. Um, just have a look at what's happening, honestly. I want to get some intel. So Karas has got some goblins in here. And it's not a walled settlement. So Karas... Look at where I border. I need border information. Come up here. Oh, there's some, some lads there. I want to see where this borders onto, that if Karas does block off Isengard. Um, I want to have a look at that. Okay. This guy's plus four to his bodyguard size. Your orders, my lord. Don't know if that'll actually work because he's above seventy-seven. So, yeah, that's that's actually not gonna. I need to give that to someone else because that's not gonna do anything. Okay. Uh, so we got the spy out. We get the diplomat next turn. We get two diplomats. I guess you can always get two diplomats. I think you can always get two diplomats. I'm, I'm just just dense. Okay. Yes. Well, let's move it. So two thousand gold for Long Angren. Long Angren's got a port as well. I saw. So that's that'll be good. So left that other, other fellow at home because he looks like he can handle himself if we're attacked early. Um, okay, Mr. Diplomat, um, I want you to go talk to Gondor. I think we want to get on good terms with Gondor straight away. Stopping here, my lord. Okay, Approach so quietly. this borders onto I think that next one over here, maybe Hilrot, maybe. Um, 
Don't think that's classed as a border there. Can't cross over. Although I've been done by little rivers before. Um, some seem to be, some seem to and some not. But it looks like if we get Karas, we should be able to pen them over this side. Um, do you want to have a look? So Bregnas is already being besieged. Oh, our Enidwaith brethren. Okay. Um, come down here as well. I just want to have I have seen a little bit of a region so I can just mouse over it to see uh, who owns it. So now I've got that there as well. Now I want you to head this way. Yes, my lord. Okay, uh, we want to get you out of there because we have... How many free upkeep? Two. Two free upkeep. So, what's the replenishment time on this guy? 21 turns? Yeah, good thing we got, got them going fast. Um, so just go jump in the um, in the fort. And we'll just keep filling up those forts as best we can. Uh, now, do we go in here? It's only three turns. I want this army to do quite a lot down here and then come back to take Karas. Um, I think we just wait. As yes, I said, how much ammunition do they have? Even even if they have a lot of ammunition, 30 chests a lot. Don't know if it's enough. It's wasting a lot of time. How much range are they? 150. We could shoot most of them. I think we go in. I think we go in. Oh, Mason's Hall. Um, okay, so... Uh, I really want to get the mines. I think that's the most efficient building I can get. 2,600. Uh, we'll have enough after we take this take this battle. We'll have enough to get the mines. Your okay. Lord is my lord. Let's go in. I'm really relying on the general here to get a lot of kill a lot of those woodman woodman archers. Man, you are not. In his last battle, he at least got the men to run in the right direction. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, I guess we should throw a save in because we haven't. Uh, so let's just go in with battle. Okay, let's get in. First battle of the campaign. You get 2,000 gold for this as well, so we'll get the 300, we get 2,300 gold for, for taking this settlement. We'll definitely get enough to get those mines going. Yeah, so no towers, that's good. Okay, so. Not you. Probably you two on the rams, admittedly. I don't have anyone really with shields. Um, let's have a look at some of these units though. So these are our armor piercing lads, early tier armor piercing. Don't forget reduced upkeep, dead bodies don't eat. This is true. This is true. This is another thing. People think they can take you in battle. They'll often rise up against forces that, that can win. Ah, because like javelins don't count much for order resolve. Maybe. Well, they didn't rise up against us this time. So these guys look pretty good. Two-handed axes. Little, little um, helmet on their head. That's nice. So these are our elders. Um, and they chant and, and do all sorts of things. Special ability, chant. What does the chanting actually do? Chanting inspires nearby Ute troops. Does it frighten enemies? That just seems bad. Some units just inspire nearby troops without having to chant. They just innately do it. And I have low armor. Oh, okay, so that's the order resolve, low armor. Raise morale by 10. It's really good. It's basically a general. Is that global? I imagine it's global. It's local. Ah, okay. So we got our Mordag fishermen with all their javelins. They got javelins coming out of their ears. Um, they have four ammunition, so we definitely want to use them. Just hold, hold fire. Um, you hold fire as well. All right, and then we're going to try and see what we can do here. So 
I want to shoot all of the... They have the high ground, which sucks a little bit because they'll have longer range. Um, just... I don't think I can actually ram the walls here. You have to go for the gates. So just come around here. I will go for the second gate. Um... Okay. Let's see. Oh, and these are our forester units as well. Let's have a look at those. Looking very, looking very clean and crisp there. I like the, like the hoods. I like the hoods. Nice clean quivers. Good. Right, let's have a look what they're doing. Um, where are the archers? Okay, they kind of look like they're retreating well back. Um, come over to here. If they're retreating back to the center point, I can get this ram over here to get get to work. Yeah, it looks like they're retreating back to the center point. Um, I just don't want to be in range of the... I don't want to be in range of the archers. Like, these are very good archers, the woodland hunters. Like, they are no joke. They're just... The, their only deficit is their range. They only have 150 range. But, because they're up on the high ground, they'll have additional range. Okay, so back from there, I don't think they'll have enough range to hit the gate. Let's just start knocking that down. Bandits. Yeah, just go keep an eye on them. Foresters are equivalent of rangers. Yeah, they, they are like a range unit from what from looking at their like their range and their accuracy, their number of number of um arrows. It's that I don't want to shoot. Yeah, I I, I don't want to shoot anything just yet. I don't want to bring the archers over. So I know these are in range and we could shoot them, but I'm just waiting. We have very low armor. Come to that. Is that moving? Just the bandits. No archers yet. Can you just creep forward a touch? Are we, are we ramming? What's going on? The battering ram is in place. It'll not be long before our So tempted to fire at this. Okay, I think I think we do fire at this. Get some volleys in there. Got a nice spot there to get some nice volleys in. Oh, are they poison arrows? They certainly look like it. They're immediately shaken. Let's say that they're poison arrows. Poisoned. Arrows are poisoned. Okay. Done its work. Now they're leaving their archers alone up here as well, which kind of leaves you open to just charge a, uh, a melee unit up there to them. Okay, so can we have? Oh, fire! I have iron fist. It's a weird one. Yeah, they're coming out. Our men have reached the gate with a battering ram. They're heading over to there. That's fine. Oh, if they want to come out, let's let them come out. Trying to leave the archers ready to hit the woodland. Units. I'll try and be really efficient with this. Um, so that's not a good spot for archers anymore. I know using these on the cell swords are probably better, but kills the kills this early. Come over to hit. There we go. That one's down. Okay. Just drop the ram and just come back a little bit. I'm back. 
Okay, so can we let her give him a volley? See how deadly you boys are. Not moving. That was not where I wanted you to throw them. That was not where I wanted you to throw them at all. You might be better off coming over here, honestly. Say that. Um, come over here. And I could charge in, but I really want to do this well. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's your, your range in that. See if you can just pimp him over the wall there. Day seven. Oh, it's not really doing enough. Um, Let the javelins fly. Yeah, let's just go in. Go in. Is that moving them? No. Okay, we're holding two units over there at the moment. That's good. Should beat this bandits. The bandits aren't bad against low armor units. Oh, woodland hunters, woodland hunters, wood no, no, woodland hunters. Uh, hold back. Go, 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 go. Shoot the woodland hunters. Uh, can we javelin those? Go back. Uh, where are the other ones? Over here. Get in. Uh, actually, get in on the hunters. Go this way. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Shoot him. Uh, can I get just pulled everything back? Remember them. Fire at these. Yeah, they are really weak in melee. If we can get in melee with those, good, 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 good. They're engaged. Okay, now shooting those, pull up the javelins. Okay, and let loose on these cell swords. Keep killing them. Can we try and... Okay, cell swords, let loose. Come on, these are... Oh, the bandits in there as well now. I was going to say, they're just woodman hunters. They're terrible in melee. Throw. Yes, take out the cell swords. That's what we want. Cell swords, destroy them. Hold, 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 hold. They have lost half their men. Okay. okay. Where's our next unit? This is not going great, to be honest. Uh, I really want to get onto them from behind. Oh okay, yeah, get through, get through. Okay, get through. Alright, we'll get under those. Get them in the back. Right, you get a mainline archer at the end of the script that is Gondor archer tier, decent and very useful, but not OP. Oh, nice. I think it's from the clan moot uh, building, right? Three javelins, three javelins. Over here. Javelins go. Get you in here. This unit's doing pretty well. 
Uh, the archer in as well. Tune in the back of these cell swords. Throw, 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 throw. much in our favor victory will be ours break them with the poison arrow yeah nice Forty-two percent. That did not go as well as I hoped. Um, oh well, it is what it is. Maybe heal a little bit. This is a clear Ooh. victory. Actually, that's a decent chunk of healing. Okay, we'll take it. Hmm. I guess armor-piercing units don't do that well against units that don't have armor. <laughs> Yeah, they don't they don't efficiently trade. Like those armor piercing us against the bandits. The bandits have like what one or two armor, so it's only reducing their armor by one, if that. But we have taken it. We have triumphed, and that will increase our economy. Lord, our but, courage and honor so two thousand gold from that. So, we can definitely get going. What's available here? So, we now get Dragon Boats. Great Fleet's available one. Oh. We're going to get the Dragon Boats from here until we get the script, and then we'll probably be able to get them everywhere. Ah, so I, they're still not available here. It's not like the, it's not like the rune script. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like the rune script. No, okay, so we can get them from. Oh, the script will trigger next turn. Okay, right, we'll see what happens. We'll see, but we can get them from here at least. Not available. Uh, so we want mines. Recruiting all of those. Your orders. And then. Are we even trading with him? Yeah, we're trading with neutrals or something. I guess we get the Mason's Hall. This is very good. I will just get one tier of the Mason's Hall. Okay. And this army needs to move on reasonably quickly. Yes, my lord. Um, my lord. But the culture's pretty decent, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Can I recruit anything here? One of these. Ten turns? Ugh, that's a long time. Uh, we can get those bandits. Yes, my lord. I kind of want to move them straight away. Your orders, my lord. If I do this, Your will, my lord. go low taxes. Oh, it'll, it'll just hold by itself. Yes, I don't like lord. leaving it completely empty. Um, because there could be like other bandit units in here, neutral units. Get those and maybe just leave behind. Who's more expensive? Just leave that so it can't just be walked into. Your orders, my lord. With honor. I keep moving fast. This tower will keep vigil over the land. You'll get them everywhere, along with a useless fleet. Oi! Uh. Okay, so we will get him next time. So it is like the rune script. Okay. Yes. Get it there. Uh, I would like to get yes, some. My lord. I'm just concerned marching this guy out alone. I was gonna go put some watchtowers down, but then I thought I've been caught like that before. Uh, I think I'll just leave him there. Um, <laughs> I get the feeling there may be. There's normally a rebel. There's normally rebels in their region somewhere. Uh, I think. I think I'll leave him. It's not useless, look what we did in the end when 
Yeah, I mean, we used our boat, went up and down the river a hundred times. Um, yeah, and turn. I'm just hoping Balorn doesn't have a big garrison. It's a cost sink early. Yeah. I might just start. We'll see how big it is. If it's just one boat, I'll probably just disband down to one boat. Or maybe not even that. I might just disband all of them. The Bar Siege sail out. The Port of Long Engren is ours once again. Lost to bandits and other scum. The Bar Siege scattered to, small, to smaller far flung enclaves. But now at last can return to their traditional home. Although they have once betrayed the clans for the secrets of Numenorean shipcraft and aided in the despoiling of the great forest. Gee, these guys, we don't want them on our side. They have since spent their every waking moment atoning for this act. Okay, uh, fair enough, fair enough. With the reclamation of their clan seat, they can once again construct their famed dragon boats in service of the clan moot and will add to our coffers with their skill in trade. Furthermore, their chieftain's son, Roskion, has also agreed to captain his family's personal warship himself and will serve under us, transporting our troops and engaging the fleets of our foes. With this, we have come one step close to reclaiming what we have lost. Is it a general ship? Talk to Isengard. Um, so hang on. So if I look here now and go to ports. Okay, so we can recruit them now from ports. Ships ready. It's an admiral. But it's not a... It's still just a captain, right? Yeah, it's still just a... It's still just a captain. It's not a... Yeah, it's just a standard admiral. It's not a... Not like a... Ships ready. Yeah, it's an admiral, is what I'm saying. Ruskian. Was one boat. How much is he costing us? Costing us 120. Okay, I can, I can live with that. I can live with 120. Um, yes, my lord. I wonder if we can make it there this turn if we jump on the boat. Ships ready. Your orders, my lord. Ships ready. Yes, sir. Full fleet. Yes, my lord. Ships ready. Your orders, my lord. Ooh, some hunters. That'd be nice. I think it's a little further. Just come to here. Yes, sir. Full sails. Yeah. See, we're making use of the boat already. We're away. Oh, that's that's looking a little scarier. Um, that's looking a little scarier. Not gonna lie. All right, you two. Jump into there. Um. My lord. Can't contact Isengard this turn. We're a little Your late. Orders. As you we wish. Talk to Isengard. I shall confide, Lord. Approaching quietly. Tomorrow's journey planned out. You aren't taking that with what you have? Those are Mordag skirmishes. Probably one of the best units you can get. I will if I can get those. I will if I can get those. Um, cancel, cancel these. Ships ready. You underestimate my power. <laughs> Again, one v one. Any other normal infantry in the game? What? What are you talking about? They're skirmisher units. They can't one v one any other normal infantry in the game, including wardens of the White Tower. Yeah, I'm not going to let them throw their javelins. Um, right, we're going to shoot them. Come out, get off the boat. Yeah. Taking the troops ashore. Yes. Grab man. them. Right. Your orders, my lord. Yeah. Yes. So man. go to. Yeah. Did you have a little bit further movement range than everyone else? Orders, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Splitting our forces. We Alright. We got some we got some Drudon hunters. We're fine. We're good. Ships 
Uh, we're going to have our boat here that we can retreat onto. Um, right. No problems. No problems at all. Um, grab some, grab some of them. Right. If only our admiral could could come up, come ashore. You know, uh, that'd be good. Yes, good luck. <laughs> You've scared me now. You've worried me. I mean, if it goes south, then I guess we're gonna have a lot of money. Um, and you will be able to say, "I told you so." Right. Not having a, a, a cav piece in the army does make me concerned. They're coming out. They got the numbers. Their weakness is their morale. Surround and route them. Focus them with hunters, poison arrows. Yeah. I got it. Oh. I didn't see the rest of the army. <laughs> I mean, three of these guys with with up. Uh, uh. Clan Heralds to boot? Holy shit. I mean, I was okay with a couple of these guys. Yeah, I thought it'd just be some bandits and friggin' these lads. Three units. I don't think we can win that. Okay. I didn't know there was gonna be three units of Drudane Hunters. Because they're gonna absolutely tear up. Our entire line. Okay. Rally to me, men. We must regroup. <sighs> Pulling back from the walls. Okay, doesn't look like Balorn is going early. Your orders. Hmm. Without question. Rather go face Isengard, honestly. Fire out. Um. <laughs> you bring a proposition for my. Ah, uh, you know what? For now, let's have some trade rights. Um. Your plans. Something else you'd like to suggest? And. Water gold. I must what? inform you, your time was most valuable. We thank you. Ships ready. Here we go for Karas. Go towards Isengard. That that is that's friggin' brutal. I don't even know if I bring down these as well. We'd still have trouble. Ready. Taking the troops ashore. Yes, my lord. Let's go. Yes. Right, keep getting the units together. Look at that. Okay, so we go for Karas. Um, at least we have vision of it, I guess. My lord. Um, Approaching. Okay, so Gondor had both of those. Gondor will probably come up and take Balorn. My lord. Um, so I, I kind of wanted to snag it from him before they got it. That was the. That was the idea. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Um. Right. 
What's going to give us the most money here? Not a drinking hall, that's for sure. Grand Exchange will give us 50 flat. Probably the fishery. We save up for the fishery, try and get that. Increase tax the touch next turn, will that be enough? Yep. Let's get the fishery. And that's the reason the garrison is so strong. It's like Fornost and Kameth Bryn meant to hold out for a while. Your orders, my lord. Me. Okay. My lord. Well, some early mistakes, but we, we didn't get punished too hard. We got away. We had our boat there. And we didn't waste that much time either since we, we boated down and boated back. So it would have been... Would have been a lot of, like it would have been four turns there and back if we hadn't used the boat, so it's uh four turn two turns instead of four turns. I'll I'll take that. Yes, my lord. With honor we can I wasn't about to tell you not to do it. No no, it's good. It's good. I, I'd rather I'd rather go down and see. Um that's that's the fun of it, Your right? Orders, my lord. That's the fun of it. Um Okay, so let's see if we can just my lord. sell them. Something I can do for you? Hmm. Sell them two hundred then. Unforgivable. Whatever. Let's go talk to Gondor. Yes, I shall continue tomorrow. Nah, that's good. Don't yeah, don't don't backseat stuff like yes, that because I'll I'll find out. As I said, I'm fly I'm flying blind on this one, uh, which is good because it's I uh, I don't know what I'm going to come across. Um, we're gonna get go negative if we pull that out, but your orders, my lord. That's my spy. My lord. Come over here. Approaching Let's have a look what's in Karas. Oh yeah, we already know. So this is just some goblins. They're not too bad. Um, what's this Big army gone. though? That's that's a little bit scarier. And Isengard already on their way over. Is that what you want? Shit. Okay. So what we want here is for Isengard to take it. And then us to take it back off them. We want them to do the hard work. Um, yes, my lord. So yeah, we'll just leave the guys in free upkeep for now for this turn. Um, lord, my lord. Probably drop a tower along yes, the edge here. Do we have any missions right now? No. I've got no vision on what's happening in the north, which is a bit scary. Look, there's two of them now. Can I just send them out and put a tower down somewhere? With honor. I get. Yes. With honor. Yes. Just a tower here, so I can see a little bit. Even just be able to see the border to see who's taken it. So this is still both neutral. Okay, that's that's what I'm wanting to see. Oh, yes, yeah, so this is what we want. Isengard, go do the work. They're jumping back in. Okay, that's actually going to be very hard for Isengard to take, I reckon. Talk to Dunland? Ah, frig. Go the other way. Yes, my lord. As you wish. Yeah. Stopping here. So. My lord. Approaching quietly. No one in there. Approaching Keep an eye on him. Is that what you want? So that's a village. So they could launch the attack on it straight away. Is that what you want? I think they'll win the order resolve. Ooh, it's tough. All units are doing it. Shit, man. When they're all matched together as well. It's, man, these these neutral settlements are are not undefended, are they? <laughs> they, are, they are really, really built up. Um, I think we have to assume they're going to make the attack and we want to be able to strike as soon as possible. So let's as you pull them yes, down. My lord. Yes. Uh, check a tower there. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. By your command, my lord. Yeah, so we're, we're losing plenty of gold, but um, we're about to go with Isengard soon, so... My lord. 
Let's do that. Okay. We're getting two big structures up, the mines and the and the fishery, so that should make a, a big difference. Was Giliath under attack already? Gee. Yes, my lord. Without question. They didn't attack? Good thing is Alphacut is one of the richest settlements in the game. Yeah, it is. Once you can get it going, it's it's really good. Um, I, I saw that in my, was it my Bree campaign? Or my Northern Do Nine campaign? Maybe my Northern Do Nine campaign. Um, that will make it a ton of money. Um, okay, so the mines are up. So we're still going negative, but we've, we've cut it in half. Um, and this will be built this turn. So yeah, we might not even go negative. We don't have any money to spend. Um, this is frustrating. Your orders, my lord. Can you come and take this fort? Glory, honor, victory. Your will, my lord. We can go no further to So we get a little bit of free upkeep there. Uh, just on the way. These guys are expensive. Two thirty-five. Is that what you want, my lord? Use all your movement. Quietly, approaching. Is that what you want? Two wargs, four Dunlon long spears, unheard slayers. This is not a. This is not a small army either. I'm. <laughs> I'm really, uh, really struggling. You can get it to like 11k. Wow, that's like second to Kazadoom, basically. Then, um, yeah. my lord, Isengard, what are you doing, man? Don't, don't, don't cuck me here. Just, just attack, attack Karas. You know you want to. Why did you stop? They didn't attack. What are they doing? Uh, Orders. Jump in. Is that what you want? I don't want to be the one to have to fight these guys. Because I'm not going to have the strength to fight them afterwards. Is that what you want? Oh, a Mexican standoff here. You get Umbar to 14k, same with Mythlond. Uh, as the elves? I don't think you get Mythlond to 14k with the elves. Any free upkeep here? Great fleets available. Nada. Um. Part of me thinks I go for the Mason Souls now. Look, I, I just don't know. AA or Northern Dundine or Gondor or Dol Amroth. You can get to 14k. Yeah, I don't think I've ever held it with any of those factions. Or at least not for a long time. <sighs> Look. Are they like not attacking because yes. I'm here? My lord. Look. Um Go take Bregnas. <laughs> uh, no, they just don't think they can win. They're waiting for more reinforcements. Your orders, my lord. Ah, 
Freak. Um, this is where I think I should have gone back down to the bloody castle. Oh, this, this, this early game is, is struggling. I can just go straight for... I go for Bregnas. My lord. Approaching quietly. Approaching quietly. Go yes, elsewhere. No. Yeah, let's go elsewhere. I mean, that just puts us next to Dunland. That'll be concerning. I, part of me just wants to go straight for Isengard. You know? If I just go straight for Isengard... Yes, my lord. What are they going to do? As you wish. What is it you wish to discuss? You hold us at rest. Very well. What else do you have to suggest? It's good to see you until we meet again. Yes, my lord. Go talk to Gondor. Without I want to be on good terms with Gondor. Stopping here. If you take Bregnas, it's a good fort to block off Isengard. I like that idea. Yeah, this is this is what I'm thinking at. And then it leaves these neutral factions for Dunland to waste their troops against. Which is what I was... This is what I, my originals... I may not have put it into words, but I was thinking if I leave these all here to my north, then someone else has to waste troops on taking them. Um, but if... And I just focus on the south. Is that what you want? Screw it. Orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. We'll see. We still see him this turn. We'll see what they do. Let's go. My lord. See what else they got coming. Approaching quietly. Um, Your orders. Yeah, we'll talk to Rohan as well. Talk to Rohan. I Rohan then Gondor. Tomorrow. Uh, we're not. Get, we're gonna lose money next turn, so don't go for that. Go for something else. Get something we can cheap. Uh, that will give me a horse available. Yeah, I'm gonna need some horses. Go get 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 some horses. I need horses against Isengard. Whoa, 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 that's okay. Now they won't be able to attack it if I preemptively yes, strike lord. them. Yes. With honor, my lord. Yes, my lord. As you wish. Ooh. Yes, my lord. This might even just spawn the, Tomorrow's the stack. Plan have they got Gint? One. They might still have Fengorn Forest, Fengor Camp. One, two. Three, four. If they've still got it. Your orders, my lord. My lord. Approaching quietly. My lord. Don't want to lose my spy. Approaching quietly. Some really early pressure on Isengard. I, I think this is the right move. That's still not taken. We'll see again next turn. Um. Your orders. Yes, my lord. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is some bold, some bold moves here. Oh, they're coming back. <laughs> oh, they're coming back. Okay, can they reach me in a turn? Is that what you want? Um. Maybe not. If I go to the other side, I'd rather fight from in, fight them from inside a settlement. Yes, my lord. I go to there. Is that what you want? Might be able to just reach me. Your orders, my lord. There are some mercenaries, but I don't have enough money for them. I cancel the structure. I would. I yes, think I need the mercenaries. It's a thousand gold. Dang it. I'm going to lose so much money here. 
Uh, I won't get seven. My lord. Is that what you want? We're kind of all in at this point. I think we need the mercenaries. My lord. Approaching quietly. Yes, my lord. I want I want a mission first. I don't want to just um talk to him. My lord. Approaching quietly. Approaching. Is that what you want? Ooh, some good units. Um, your orders, my lord. To battle. We shall prevail. Yes. Let's go. War with Isengard, turn eleven. <laughs> you thought you were going to declare war on me, Isengard. It's the other way around. Okay. Um, this is. This could just be a very short campaign, you know. It could just be very short. Uh, we're going negative, so we may as well just grab a unit. Yes, my lord. I'm gonna stick you! Have a taste of my blade! They came back. Shit. No! Oh, but they are next to us, so... That's bad. Send emissary to Rohan. So here's what we do here. We we attack the settlement. That will drag in this unit. But what we do is we attack the settlement really freaking fast. <laughs> we get inside the settlement and then we use the settlement to defend against this army. That's that's what we do. Um Your orders, my lord. All right. Isenga, uh, Rohan. You have a proposition for us. Seems like a there is something else you wish. Uh, to I should have waited until after I um, took that settlement. Oh well. Acceptable, an honor and a pleasure. Yeah. Farewell. Now I come to Gondor. As you wish, my lord. I okay, so this has got a huge garrison. Oh my goodness! Look at the size of this garrison. We were wowzers. No wonder they weren't going for them. Yeah, screw the neutral settlements. Let's uh approach <laughs> tomorrow's <laughs> journey planned out. Let, let's let's just go for the go for Isengard. They're the they're the easier option. Uh we can get Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Um my lord. Yes. I shall continue tomorrow, my lord. Yes, my lord. As you command. We... Are a night attacker. Well, 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 well. Um, I guess I neglected that piece of information. Um, Do that. No, it's a bug. Right. It did say you were ambush specialist faction. Muster your courage, men. 
We march into battle! Lots of little tricks Edith can do. Well this is the this is the best of the lot. <laughs> Down to night attacks. Um, I hope it's all my generals, not just not just um, my two starting ones, because you know. <laughs> Units, await my orders. Not sure how they're gonna survive throughout the campaign. Uh, so this is berserkers, right? So we're just gonna shoot them. Um, send up the bandits. All people will know peace for the clans. To get all of our javelin slash axe throwers, and then our archers, and then the remaining infantry. I think it's most of the custom ones, can't remember. Okay. I, I assume I will get a significant number of custom generals. Alright, so. When I knock down this gate, I suspect they may come over here. So, all of you, come to that. Actually, about that. Uh, I like that. Bit of, a, bit of a mound there. Like that there, and then you lads like this, yeah. is in place it'll not be long before our enemy is is night attacker a trait you can like farm at all the way you can get it uh, i used to think it was you defeating defeating oh, another Rick general in a night battle gave you night attacker well i don't know if that was rome one i don't know if that's the same in, in medieval two um yeah okay, so they haven't moved at all so we, we just want to shoot him basically uh, probably what's the best way to come up? Probably this way. Have a longer ramp. So if I have my archers, javelins come to about here. We'll just see if they they might start moving once we come inside the settlement, but we'll just see. I don't think they will. We've captured the enemy's walls. Um, just. Let's move this unit inside, just so we've got like... Actually, I use the pikes. So we have one melee unit. Pikes shouldn't take many losses. I wonder if we can get in range from like from down here. I don't want to set up. Have you two set up here? Send you forward to start shooting them. Everyone is on fire at will. He's in range. Let him have it. Mordag, fisherman. 
Doobshi Foresters! Attack! You worthless slugs! Not moving. I'll have a little more. I kind of expect him to attack us, but just sitting there. Where are you going? That's not the plan. Don't come over here. What if I take your capture point? Are you going to run back now? men are in command of the city. Well, that wasn't the plan at all. Don't don't do that. Um, I don't want you to attack these guys. That's that's not run away. Run away. That's not who I want you to attack. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was, I, I'm not. I'm not giving you that target. You don't get to attack them. Really? I mean, I'll just I'll just tick that in timer. Like, I'm not fighting you with infantry. I'll withdraw them off the field if I have to. Okay. You understand me? I'll I'll just keep running them away. You're not. You're not. You're not attacking them. You're not getting any free kills on them. You can just you can just run back and forth all you want. I'll retreat him. Don't watch me do it. That's fine. Whatever. Over here. Finn's AI is both smarter and dumber than the previous AI. Yeah, it's like, I don't want to get shot, but um, I'm going to give up the capture point. <laughs> it knows it can't win, so it's trying to do damage. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not having any bar of it. <laughs> I'm not having a bar of it. <laughs> Where's the general? Cause that's not the general. Where's he? He's right here. Hey, back off. Back off. What are you doing? Run this way. Oh, he likes growling, doesn't he? He's really, really Most of their shots are missing. There we go. The enemy general. Without him, his troops be awed by the we got victory him. we have no won losses. here today. What? We shot ourselves? The freak? How could you shoot? How did you hunt your- how did you- They must have shot him. Idiots. I wouldn't have that- that mistake in my- in a professional army. <laughs> Bloody... Tribesmen and fishermen just shooting each other. It's not like it's not like the it's a gun that went off, you know, unexpectedly. You really you have to draw back the bow. We have triumphed. My lord, 
Our courage and honor have conquered. We'll occupy it, thanks. Well, thanks for the building grounds. Butchery, ration site. Oh, that's nice. Keefy huntsman we can get. Okay. Once we have the culture. Where's my spy? My lord. Okay. I shall continue. You need to get into to there. As I go, we're positive income. There is a fort here. Um, I think, so, are they actually bordering us here? My lord. Um, my lord. I don't think they are. We'll, we'll see, we'll see if they attack. I definitely don't want to go out on the field and attack that. Um, I'd rather they come in and be able to shoot them, shoot them up. Um... Alright. Let's move. Yes, my lord. Hi, oh, Isengard. You didn't see that one coming, did you? Neither did I, to be honest. All thanks, final stand. Okay, so we popped that early. So they must have lost Bangon camp. Yes, my lord. Without question. I'm gonna stick you. As you wish. I shall continue tomorrow. My lord. Approaching quietly. So this is the I'm last stand army. Day. Um, which now I'm very concerned about. We might just roll through Rohan proper. Um, they don't have a lot of recruitment though. Approaching quietly. Your orders. Um. I'm gonna stick you. This might just come for you too. I don't think I'm bordering them here. Although this, see this little um, little glitch here, this little visual glitch. Even though it's not a crossing, that kind of I've I've come to see that as a counting as a border. Um, I just don't like if I am bordering them. I definitely don't want to attack because I need to defend with what I have. We can, like I kind of I kind of want to be bordering them. I want them to attack me. Um. Your orders, my lord. Don't really want to go out and face them. I, I'm not even sure I'll. I'm gonna stick you. I'm not even sure I'll win that battle. Like they have quite a few wargs. I don't have that much anti-cav. Like one spear. It's these guys anti-cav as well. And a pike. I'm I'm kind of unsure what to do now because they're just sitting here. I want them to move. Uh, keep an eye on where they go. Tomorrow's journey. Guess we'll move our diplom yes, over and move him. We are making money, at least not going negative. Um, I think we just got to wait, wait and see what happens in the next turn. I. I I, I need to know if they can attack me here. Oh, they're going to take eyes and run. This is what's going to happen. They're going to take eyes and run, and then they will be able to attack me. So, I think that's, I think that's, what's likely going to happen. Gee, they're stacking it up. It's not going to be enough, Rohan. It's not going to be enough. Uh, yeah, what are they going to do? They went the other way. Hmm. Talk to Gondor as well. I want to talk to Gondor. Then I'll send the diplomat back and try and get. Um, oh, hello. Well, you're not going to be able to take this. <laughs> yeah. Yes, ma'am. What is it you wish to discuss? It's good to see you. Very well. You guys want an alliance? Have to suggest. 
You hold us at ransom. There is something else you wish to propose, then. Acceptable. You have another worthy proposal, then. I do not believe an honor and a oh, yeah, that's good. Farewell. Hope Rohan holds? No, I don't think they're going to hold. I don't think they can... I mean, this is being sieged, I think, at the moment. That's not. It's gone back. Like, there's that full doom stack has spawned. As well as the other armies that are around. I think if we... I think this is going to fall. Like, there's no way... Rohan order resolve is terrible. What's in here? My lord. Get over into here and start Approaching turning culture. Quietly. They lose late, not as much early game. So why were they... Did they take Balorn? Why were they willing to ally with me? Normally the AI will only ally if you're bordering them in most cases. But I was, I'm very surprised they took the alliance then. <sighs> Look, what we're going to do... I can't even get out. Um, I was going to say I stick some troops in this in this fort. Gondor has a lot of enemies, so they're willing to ally. Uh, okay. Yes, my lord. Look, this is what we're gonna do. Your orders, my lord. My lord. Uh, this holds. Hoping so. Yes, my lord. Oh, that takes it down to. Blue. Yeah, so I shouldn't have moved Your him orders, first. My lord. Yeah, so I want to try and get some guys into this fort. Your will, my lord. Yes, my lord. My lord. Your will, my lord. Orders. Your will, my lord. My lord. Who's the most expensive? 330. 187. 240. 235 190 220 These four Orders. All right, so But you four Lord, into this fort Lord. Next turn and we'll get you back inside here Um Still held. Just try and save some money. Uh, we need we need that chicken farming. Need I need cav. We we'll go back to the chicken farming. My lord. So we spoke with them. Go now. Talk Without to Ro question. go talk to Stopping Rohan. Here. Tomorrow's journey planned out. That'll save us about a thousand gold, almost. About a thousand gold to get those troops into the fort. Okay. Ah, uh, they've lost it. Yeah, <laughs> hope they hold. Hope they hold, he said. My goodness. Yes, my lord. Yes. Okay, so abandon that plan. Yes, my lord. Everyone back in. Batten down the hatches. They're coming. Your orders. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Oh, they took the gap of Rohan as well. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, okay, we're committed to the chicken farming now. That's about that. Right. 
Um, spy staying here, keep turning the culture. The most we can do. I am. Um, we let him come. We've got we've got archers, a good amount of archers. Got some pikes, and of course the javelins. Killing the army in front of you is still smart. I don't think so, because we're not going to win it well. I'm gonna stick we're not going to win this well. We, if we engage this, we lose most of our army. Um, we probably win, but we lose most of the army, and then we just can't hold. Whereas if we wait defensively and uh, can make for use of full use of our arrows, we can actually do something. Try and get a mass route in defense. Divide and conquer and all that. Yeah. It's it's just, it's too big. It's too big a force. We'd lose too much for our army. We don't have the cash flow to reinforce with more troops right now. Unless... Okay, they're sieging Hornberg. Tomorrow's journey. Okay, so they're not going for me. My lord. That would be the one thing that would change my mind if they're not bringing anything this way and they didn't siege me that turn. Okay, so we go in. Without question. Yes, my lord. As you wish. I, I shall continue tomorrow, my lord. Aye, uh, we fight. <clears throat> We go and try and take eyes and run. Um, how much gold will one of these boys cost? Five ninety. Okay, so we should have enough if we win this battle next turn, or this turn. Your orders, my lord. <laughs> okay. We shall engage. If we go night attack, he's got one more command. Ah. Just do this. Sorry. Clicking it multiple times. There again. Right. I don't know if that's just like a visual um, thing that it doesn't show up again or whether it actually affects it. So just do it again to be safe. Let's go. Men, on my orders. Now, I think they'll attack me. These guys have skill against mounts. Put them out on this flank. That's on their javelins, by the way. What? They don't have javelins. Skilled against mounts. The Drudian Hunters. That's their... That's their, um... Melee, isn't it? Isn't that their melee attack? Yeah, yeah, they have spears. That's what I'm saying. It's on their melee attack. Um, okay, so we want to put bandits in the front. Just to try and break the... Well, they stay reasonably thick. Um, and we'll go spear here to protect the side. And I want to kind of line my javelins kind of here. Um, let's go like that. Spear. Actually, then I switch that. Pike here. This is assuming they're coming to me. Spear this side. They do have a lot of wargs. We gotta protect our flanks. Go like that. And then hold in reserve the armor piercing. Away from their archers. Uh, 
also out Uber Elite. Keep him back here. Throw your jab, throw your axes on a flank. What's that? Oh, the chanters. You stick in the middle of everyone and chant. Um, one of you over this side. Kind of like there. Do they have effective against Cav? They are skilled against mounts. Okay. Just, just have one in the front and hold you back. Hmm. On their javelins, I think the effective against that's what you're talking about before. I'm pretty sure that's on their on their javelins, the effective against skilled against mounts. Right. We're actually a little bit downhill there. That's not, that's not good. Uh, they do have... Actually, maybe get a loose formation. We just spread our formation a touch more. Just a little wider. them back a little bit all right well like they're trying to get some on flay fire there yeah. aim with you uh, you hold so trying to understand the concept of Isengard is easier uh, compared to those neutral stacks. I mean, the neutral stacks are not going to do anything to me, right? That's the other thing. And they're going to slow down everyone else. Okay, so we definitely want to shoot their pikes. Uh, you need to be out of... Stand back in the middle. Do they have shields? No, they don't. Okay. Now, they're going to need to chant to keep these... Um, go loose formation as well, actually. And you need to chant to keep these bandits in the fight. Yeah, it's it's also yeah easier to deal with them now than later. That's, that's the other thing. I mean, it's tough. It always is tough rushing a faction. But, I mean, the plan was to take out the neutral settlements. And then the neutral settlements were just bonkers. Bonkers, like, stacked. Units, move up. Pikes. Yeah, so... Focus the pikes. Okay, you guys need to start chanting. Okay. okay. Now we've got to wait for the. Got to kind of hold our formation until the. Until the cav commits. Is it that? I don't know. Fire it will, fire it will. Wait, 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 wait. Ready? Okay, archers, switch targets. Oh, you keep going for them. Throw the javelins. Take them out. Okay, 
Throw. Throw. Why don't you throw? Yeah, they threw in the end. Throw, 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 throw. Throw as well. Yeah, they're gonna need some assistance up the middle. Yeah, help them out. Okay, you got them. Oh yeah, swing around, swing around. Onto the flank. Throw javelins. Same with you. Come to hit. Where's the other one? Okay, come forward, come forward. Okay. Alright, light them up, light them up, light them up. Doing that. Them. Whatever. Yeah. If we continue like this, take him out. Take him out. Smash the enemy. Yeah. Come to here. Throw javelins. Turn the javelins. Throw the javelins. I'm forward. Okay, how are we going? The chances of keeping the bandits in the fight, that's what we needed. Throw, 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 throw. Okay, get involved. Get in there. Throw, 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 throw. Take him out, take him out, take him out. That's not good. Help him out, help him out. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Okay, Archer's still firing. Taking out most of theirs. Okay, can we switch to this unit over here? It's the one that's doing it the most. Come around. Alright, we'll keep chanting. Start sweeping as well. Straight to the middle, actually. Go straight to the middle. Okay, alright. Throw javelins. How are we going? 71%. They are starting to route. We don't want them to kind of get away here. So I want to cut them off. No cab to chase them down. Go wide. Battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Okay. Those long spears don't let them get away. Charge in, go after those. Chase him down. The enemy, the enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Okay. Welcome in, Bofus boy. Unfortunately, Siren has a harsh grip on his armies. Your Wallolo was ineffective. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it worked on my guys, right? It stopped the counter conversion. Um, I don't think we can catch him. I think we're too slow. Um, uh, could 87%. Maybe it's enough. I don't have anything left the field yet. This one's about to get off the field. Can you come across? Try and like catch them. Oh, they're just too fast. This is why you need a cab unit, my goodness. It sucks not having cab. Whoa. Um great to catch catch me, uh how you say I'm I'm well for both as boys. Starting a new campaign with Ian Waith, Ian Waith, um, which is completely uh blind. And we've seen that already today. I've uh, been surprised by a few things on this part of the map, that's for sure. Um, come across. Can we catch any of these guys? Come here, come here, come here. Sorry. 
Throw some javelins. Come on, or axes, whatever. Throw them. Nice. That took out. That took out some. Over it. Catching some of those. I just really don't want any of this army to escape. It's tackling Isengard instead of he, as Eden in his way. Hey, how'd it go? This this is going okay so far. It's two wins. Over, come here. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Oh, I took out, took out a couple. I, I think that's about as good as we can, about as good as we can get. I think. Hopefully, it's enough. This is a clear 88%. victory. Nice, good. Foresters, hunters, and huntsmen all getting the most kills. Our three archer units. Yeah, they were they were racking it up. <sighs> Remember, your Mordag units have 110 percent movement. They are good to chase until you have cav. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Was I using them to chase then? I thought I was. Didn't look like we were really catching them that well. We should have caught them because Isengard units only have 98% um, units speed, I think, on most things. No, only one unit was chasing the rest of the... Ah, okay, right. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Execute. Right. So, it's going to do a couple of things. One, it's going to give us some more money. Not that much more, though. Sort of hoping for more, then. Um, look, Isengard are now really, with that Doom stack, they're just pushing through, but... Um, we can't take the Doom stack, but what we can hope is that Rohan is doing enough damage. Yes, my lord. Basically. Tomorrow's they haven't lost Helm's Deep yet, that. although that's probably... Ah, oh, shit. Okay, they're gonna lose Helm's Deep. Um... Tomorrow's journey planned out. Haven't taken this though. I think we just keep attacking and keep the spy to see what's going on. I shall continue to um... I can't retrain any of that. We can get another spy though. Oh, I don't... Don't have any, um, recruitment slots there. Yeah, get another spy. If you need as many as them we can get. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Can we go and leave the... Can we, like, leave that unit behind? Yeah, low. Uh, it's probably going to rebel. How come I haven't got, like, any other... Adoptions or anything? Still only have two generals. I feel like early in most campaigns you get... Um... Some Lord others. I think what we're gonna do yes, my lord. My lord. Your will, my lord. By your command. Bandits is ninety percent. Your will, my lord. Let's let's leave the bandits Emerging behind. Armies, your orders, my okay. lord. Yes. We shall continue tomorrow. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Gee. Okay, lord. and we just we just keep if they're gonna attack Rohan, then we're gonna take their land behind them. I think that's that's the plan. Nothing else I can do. We're out of money, so we, we gotta we gotta push and do something. Yes, my lord. It's just out of range. Your orders, my lord. Um, yes, my lord. You have a bit more though. Has Your anyone orders, else got a bit more? Orders. So can yes, you like come to here? Your orders, my lord. So you'll be able to reach it next turn, and the hopefully army. the army can orders. just get there. Yes, my lord. Just get there. Okay. I mean, if this hasn't signaled that we're on the side of good, I don't know what what will, you know? Where <laughs> we are throwing ourselves headfirst into Isengard. And this is funny. If I take Isenrun, it will have had like three different owners in the space of five turns. <laughs> yes, my lord. Without question, as you wish. Without question. Okay, so they're not sieging Helm's Deep with a whole lot, so that sh that should hold for now. My um, you keep heading this way. I shall continue Where tomorrow. is the Doomstack army? Approaching quietly. Approaching quietly. Where'd it go? 
I'm gonna stick you. Have a taste of my blade. Where is it? My lord. Approaching quietly. And Bree declares war. Yeah, that'd be that'd be the No no, that's why I've left all these settlements neutral around here. So that they're, they're all early, early warning systems. Um <laughs> <laughs> There's all these neutral settlements. Um, don't say something like that, Dad. Mode spy. Okay. Um, I need another spy down here, clearly, because there's. I shall continue tomorrow. Unless they went. Oh, Gondor's taking this one. Okay. We're putting the squeeze on them. Where is that army? Your orders. Stopping here, my lord. Your orders, my, my lord. Oh, they're really short range. Joining forces. Yes, my lord. But well, they're definitely not going to get that. My goodness. Yes. With honor, we can go no further, my lord. As you come on. I mean, if if Gondor come come, come and take Durwath, that would be great. Um, it actually looks like we're all working together here. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Get the cav. Need the cav unit. Um, you can start making your way over. Yes. March to exhaustion. Continuing later. Your orders, my lord. Oh, there were. Oh, it must be mercenaries in this region, but not this one. Okay. I was thinking about getting them, but I don't have money anyway. So, alas. Keep on where he goes. Tomorrow's Unless they went into Isengard. <sighs> Ooh, that's probably the one place I haven't checked. Unless they just went, <laughs> they could just be sitting up here. Um, now they might have taken Folberg and then fell back. Okay, we go. I think we're out of range yes, from there. Lord. Just. Gee, actually, we're in range, kind of. We shall engage. Um. <laughs> Okay. Come on, Rohan. You can do it. I'm helping out. Gondor and Eadwaith, we're, we're helping. We're trying to do it. Okay, they've come back. Oh, okay. It's okay, we'll kill them. Dole Emerald expands. Makes me a happy boy. Gondor's overall leader, but Mordor on military. Oh, gee. We have 9% of Mordor's military. Woo. We are last on everything, I believe. Where was Gondor when the West Buff Fold fell? To the West, killing the rest of Isengard's army. That's right. Well, I mean, they haven't killed any of Isengard yet, actually. Are they even at war with... I don't even think they're at war with Isengard, are they? Um, Gondor. No, they're not. Harad, Cairn, Mordor. But I mean, they've taken this this settlement, which is which is near enough, you know, it's stopping them from expanding here, which is good. Um, I mean, I'll 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 accept it. I'll accept it. They can have it. Uh, just come through this way, just in case there's anything fighting. Aha. Uh -huh. We have Lurtz here. I'd like to kill him. Can I click on my can I, can I click my on my lord. diplomat? Oh my goodness, where was the hitbox? Yes, my lord. Without question, my lord. Approaching quietly. Oh boy. Approaching we found it. Quietly. I'm gonna stick you! Oh, uh, we found it. Oh, we found it. Uh, okay. Approaching quietly. You have one job. Approaching quietly. Approaching Keep an eye on where he goes. I shall continue. To I, I had a vain life. hope for but a glimmer of a moment. You want to build up and take Karas? Gondor may try and take it. You need it as one of your core regions. Uh, look, that can be dealt with later. Um, we can buy it off him or something. Um, right now we got bigger issues. This is I, I need to build up, Blarant. Yeah, let me build up with my three hundred gold per turn. 
are out. Um, <sighs> what's their range? They're apparently not within range of Eisenrun. Because there's no roads in this region. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take Eisenrun. Yes, my lord. We're then going to give it to Rohan as a gift, or maybe to try and get an alliance and some money. I don't know how much money they've got. Um, and then we're going to duck down to Durwath. Or maybe even duck over to take I'm out Lurts. We're, we're kind of doing guerrilla warfare here. We're not... We, we don't have the strength to I'm beat this. Not in a million years. We need Rohan to help with that. But what we can do is help them on the fringes. Your orders, my lord. As long as they don't come directly for us. And Dunlin doesn't attack us either, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I've got trade with Dunlin right now. I'm hoping they don't attack me. Dunlin. Trade rights. Very poor relations mixed. Oh, shit. Hopefully they're busy enough with Bree and Rohan. Uh, probably not. Yes, my lord. To battle. We What's shall prevail. Okay, we get a general. Nice. Yes. As you command. We can do it. That's a nice little pick off. Muster your courage, men. We march into battle. I'm embracing the with uh, the law text at the start of the campaign. It said I'm guerrilla fighters. We we pick and choose our battles. That's what I'm really going for now. We're, we're embracing the the guerrilla tactics. Okay. Now we should just be able to, if they come out of us here, we should just be able to line them up. Give them the, give them the full Inbraith welcome. You can sit there and yell. Um, now on the flanks. Check the archers. Alright. So, did they come out of this? They're gonna get it. Okay, they're coming. Now I want to. Sh they should die to the javelins. What I want to shoot is the. This is the cav. Take down the cav. As long as the javelins can throw their. Their missiles and they're not interrupted by a cab charge. We should be fine. Man, we're hitting some other units in the middle. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. They yeah, should fire at that. Hold fire. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Only half the enemy force remains. My goodness, can you guys kill them? What's going on? How come they're still alive? Let's fight. Around it. Around it. Throw some javelins. Oh, 
Just let him hold for a sec. I don't really want to get these guys involved in there, they're armor piercing, they'd More probably do a pretty good job. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Don't you dare die. Get over here. Shoot him. Trying to min max this as best as possible. Shoot him. Come on. Yeah, three arch units giving it to you. Point blank. That should be enough. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Careful of my general over here. Where is he? He's in the back, that's good. What's this say? 150% combat effectiveness? I have some combat effectiveness? Sure. Man, Hurukai bodyguards. They are... tanky. Around. Are you kidding me? How can they even walk forward? <laughs> Die! This is just a standard general. Oh my goodness. I can tell you what, if my general was taking a copping like that, there's no way he's living that long. Like, what is this? They're point blank! Oh my... He lived? Really heavy armor? No. I know they got heavy armor, but that's ridiculous. I mean, that was like what? All of those arrows were hitting. You saw them. They were like all hitting. That was... <laughs> I, I cannot believe he lived through that much firepower. That's insane. Oh, he's dead now. He's a dwarf. <laughs> I don't even think a dwarf would survive that long. This is why you deal with Isengard early. <laughs> because Isengard late is scary. When every unit in their in that army, in their army is like that, then you have problems. So many times I've played as Gondor and Fort Isengard, and you just fire like entire quivers of whatever. You fire entire quivers of um, of arrows into a unit, and you kill like five guys. You're like, well, that was that was good. Fourteen armor base with four shields. Yeah, still. Now sell Eisen run to Gondor. Um, I could have it to Gondor, actually. I've got my diplomat over here. I was going to sell it to Rohan. Selling it to Gondor would get Gondor involved in the war, wouldn't it? Um, I think we'll sell it to we'll sell it to Rohan this time, but we might take it back and sell it to <laughs> sell it to Gondor. Might sell this to Gondor. Um, we're we're selling we're selling it You're everywhere, right, to every everything everywhere. Orders. So come to that. Look, is there anything we can that we can get rid of? You know what? That's that can go. I mean, we'll keep we'll keep those in there. Uh, I mean, we. It's a lot of money. Nah, we're gonna burn it to the ground. Right. Well, we're taking them. That's how I feel with Angmar and Archers against Dwarves. Glad I finally started chanting at the Iron Crown Longbows. Yeah. Yes, yeah. my lord. So, 
Now that we've completely gutted it, um, I'm sure they're gonna love to buy it. Uh, so, yes, Rohan. What is it you wish to discuss? I want an alliance. We need to work together here. And I'll give you... No, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. I'll give you, I'll give you the region of Eisenrun. Okay, very generous. Has some military access on that. Uh, and you guys are modest wealth. I, I gutted it, so it's not going to be worth as much. Five thousand is still generous. How much is how much is modest worth? Does anyone know what modest is is equate to? I can possibly possibly get ten k, but I definitely want to get something. So if I push it too far, then I don't get anything, and Eisen and Eisengard take it back. Up to thirty k is modest. Well, there's no way they got thirty k. Um, what's the minimum? What's the minimum mark for Modest? That's probably the better question. Still saying that's not sure. They're still saying that's very generous. I wonder if we could get 10k. That's generous. Pretty solid map information. I don't think there's anything else I can give to sweeten it. I accept oh, yo, yes, 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 yes. The pleasure was all ours. Okay. Well. Righto. Alliance, 10k. I'm happy with that. Okay. So. What we need to immediately do is get mason's halls. Make sh make stuff cheap. Mason's halls everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Your will, my lord. My lord. You're keeping an eye on him. Tomorrow's journey. Now we know lord, this is probably going to get lord. taken back pretty quickly. Uh, Rohan hasn't got any troops in there. With honor. Um. So I think what we'll do is we'll siege this. Yeah. To battle, we shall prevail. Uh, Durweth is a good settlement. Do that. Yes. We just we just grill the tactics, right, and then we can get some more troops. Get them into. Free upkeep for now. No, we don't have any recruitment slots. Orders. Okay. That's good. That's good as we can do. I think. This is what we've got to do in this early game. It's the only way forward. Um, Greetings, most noble ally. Yes, my lord. I wonder what the... I kind of want Rohan to be strong here. Yeah, let's see what happens. Cause I need I need someone to come deal with this army from Isengard. Okay. I wanna knock off Lurtz. Yeah, they're gonna go take back No, they're out of range. Just Oh, hang on. There's a few Isengard forces down here. This is good. Happy to kill all those generals. Be you really want Gondor funneling troops into Isengard 2 instead of attacking Karras? Um, I think they'll attack Karras either way. Um, probably. Your orders. As you wish. Without question. My goodness, get over it. Yes. I shall continue tomorrow. Stop um here. let's see. Let's 
Now, I'm tempted just to get that cav over there straight away. In fact, I think I will. It can go. Because I need that over there. Everything else, sit in here and build up. Build up some troops. If you take Durwath and immediately head west to Karras and sell Durwath to Gondor, that that would occupy Isengard for a while. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the plan. Um, is this being sieged? No. But come down here. So where did? Yeah, there's the big army. But I want you to keep an eye on them. What else is happening down here? Keep an eye on Lurtz, so I don't want him to get out. I'm, I'm both these generals dead. This would be another three generals we take out here. And then it might just be Saruman. I'm gonna stick you. Have a taste of might not be able to kill this army, but we can kill all the generals, you. maybe. That's, that's the only play I've got. Um, so they're moving. Can I move you out? Yes. Right, stay in that. It's okay. So. Yes, my lord. This is a this is a really good settlement. Oh, we didn't quite get that ram built. How many turns? Six turns. Oh, there we go. We go fast. Oh, he gets two from that. He gets two stars from being a knight attack. Part of me wants to just auto resolve this. Why not attack this turn? I am. I am attacking this turn. Um, because they have ballista towers here. I think it's ballista towers. Pretty sure this is a ballista tower one at uh, first tier. It's very good. I got three ladders. I should be able to manipulate them enough with the three ladders to get into the town square. I think we fight it manually. We attack! Yeah, we are going in this turn, Blaren. I was just, I was just thinking. Let's do a couple of things. Oh, it's not the Ballista Tower one. Okay, still, still a good settlement, but not the one I was thinking of. Must be the the next upgrade is the one I'm thinking of. Right. Um. So, so that means the Ram will definitely get up. Um. Yeah, just send him. This one's only got the two gates. Yeah. So we'll go straight through here just to get that open. Uh, we'll leave the archers. Yeah. Just out of range of the towers. Then we want one, two. Pikes can go through the front gate. Yeah, I guess you I want some hard hitting infantry to go up the ladders. Uh, question is, where am I putting them up? I've got a fair bit of range here we can go on. There's a lot of towers along this side. Man, there's six towers along this side. That's a friggin' death zone there. Um, but I still think we probably need to send one there just to draw some attention. Um, so. We just send this one over here, and you're basically just to just to draw some attention. Um, and then I've only got three units. You're gonna go all the way around. You know, like go down to here, and then this one will draw the attention on this side because this is the unit I don't want them firing into. Uh, you can just go straight up here. Um, probably go here. 
Yeah, go over here. Um, and then have some follow-up units. Follow-up units to help them out. And then we'll have the send one over this side, just in case they don't um, defend this side at all. So we have a secondary unit to work with. And then have these two in the front. Okay. Go all the way around. They didn't defend this side at all. Okay, uh, come up here. They're falling back from the gate. Okay, they're falling back from the gate, so it means we can move up our this force here. It's good, they're not firing. This is distraction. Quick, get up there, get up there, get up there. So they just keep going. We want, want these guys to stop them from getting up. Uh, sometimes they don't fall back to the town square until you actually start capping it. Um, otherwise, so you still got to surround them. See, so these guys aren't falling back. They're still defending. Come on, stop them, stop them, stop them, stop them, stop them. Get up there, get up there. I don't want to get around to that. Activate towers for this unit. Come on, get up there. Okay. Pikes, get out of formation. Get ready to run in. Work. And get away from the towers as fast as possible. Where is the Run to here. Run. Two javelin units get in there as well. Men have reached the walls with their ladders. Get in, get in, get in. Guys aren't on fire at will, are you? Okay, get off, get off fire at will. Captured the enemy's walls. Okay. Get down. Up you go. Yeah, we're stopping. Stop them from running across. Perfect. Stop them. Good, 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 good. Get these guys up and around, and we're just going to play on javelining these. Uh, like here. Go, go, go. Out of the range of this tower. I don't think it's firing anymore anyway, they moved up their other units. Okay. Can I get two javelin units? Up here. Wait, that's how they said it. Makaini Ambato. Makaini Ambato. There we go. Makaini, I gotta. Makaini and Bato. Alright, javelins in position are on their flank. This should hurt. Come on, let's see. It's Gaelic? Yeah, I got that. I got that it's a, a Gaelic-themed faction. If the words didn't give it away. <laughs> I may be Australian, but I, I am, I'm not that uncultured. Okay. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, javelins. Mince meet him. Our men have taken control of the castle. Now, can we start capping this thanks? Just fight, just fight, just fight, just fight. Your armor piercing, you should deal pretty well against them anyway. Pretty good voice acting for a two. This towers are firing now, that's not good. Better quickly finish this off. Throw it, javelins into their back. Come on. Is that it? One more, one more throw. The battle is very much in our favor. Okay. Victory will be ours. Charge in, finish him off. I hit him from that hill. Oh yeah, I just didn't think they'd be as accurate. I thought from that far they'd, they'd probably be, um, they'd hit my own units. I really wanted them point blank behind. What's happening over here? I mean, yeah, I'm kind of sacking you guys. You're just getting shot by towers. I didn't even get you fighting. But we might just be waiting down the timer at this point if they don't come back. Uh, can you sit in here? You probably sit up on the hill. You sit in here. Come on, kill him. You get out because you don't hit as hard. Want the hard hitters to kill the general. Come on, hit him, kill him. It's activating the towers. Come on. There we go, he's down. Oh, I just said um, that from up on the hill, they could they could reach with range, but um, I thought their accuracy might have been a little lower. Um, they'd hit our own units, whereas right behind, they, uh, they kind of had just a clear shot in the back. Okay, they're routing. Yep, that's what we kind of thought. Right, so now they're going to pull them off the hill. We'll pull them out. No, sorry, you, you stay in here because you're the non-infantry unit. Keep that timer going. They're starting to come around. You two will be able to give them some javelins as they move this way. Hopefully they just run back into the square here. Those aren't your hard hitters, by the way. They're just your AP options. Your hard hitters are going to be more Dag Fishermen later. And the Phelan Warriors. And the Crocodile Tears. I mean, they're hard hitters for now. Go. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost that was pretty good. Men. More we've lost control of the castle. Yeah, we've lost control. It's okay. We're about to win. So. Our men have taken control Rout of the castle. Behold yeah. how our cowardly foe runs. Good. It's time to press the attack. This is a clear victory. The other difference with having the camera over here, don't get as much glare, but you also get to see uh, when Mrs. EPM comes in and delivers me my snacks. An 
grapes today. Grapes are coming into season in Australia. Look at this plump. Look at this plump grape. Firm, plump, so good. Okay, so where's that diplomat? I can greet you, but not serve you, Over here. my lord. So you're gonna try and sell this to Isengard. Yes, my lord. Not to Isengard, I sell to Isengard. To sell to Gondor. Coming to deliver supper. <laughs> no, this is afternoon tea. Afternoon tea. Right, so then we just keep going, right? Are we out of movement range? No, we got movement lord range. Is my lord. Um, I wanna leave one unit behind. Just so it doesn't get taken. I don't care so much if it rebels. Uh, what we will do though is just... Yeah, we're, we're, we're scorched earth policying this right now. Get out of my game. All right, everything's... Everything's burning. Um, look at the money. We're making money. <laughs> is that how we're making money right now? Hey, let's kill the next yes, one. My lord. As you come on. Okay. Look at the balance of power, by the way. <laughs> Orcmen units. These guys are strong. Very strong. Uh, good things we got javelins. <laughs> Attack! Bangard, oh, both of them. The Bangard hit hard and are hard to kill. I think the, um, the most... I think the Orkman Bangard are possibly the most efficient unit in the game. For their price point, because they're super cheap. For their price point, um... They should come to us because there's not many of them. Stand on this hill. They're really hard to kill and they deal damage to everything. Uh, so many times I've had Orcman Vanguard surrounded, recharge, surrounded, and then they just... They just live. They just find a way. Stand here, you can cheer. Um... So we'll do. Kind of need two units here. Use the two spears. Just try and hold the front line. Go like that. And then we want javelins to just mince them once they're in once they're in range, basically. And a bit of armor piercing of our own to come around the flanks too. Our people will know peace. Not at the moment, they won't. It's on the way. Nah, that's stores, hands down. Yeah, the stores were pretty good in the Anduid Vale campaign. Having that many... I mean, it's just activating them, right? It's just making sure you get the value out of the, the rocks. Um... I think that it's a lot easier to get value out of Orkman Vanguard than it is out of the stores. You really need to manufacture a situation. And then the stores by by far are way better. Absolutely. Um, by a country mile. That's the same with a lot of units in the game. I think when you're talking about quality of units and efficiency, it's not just how good they can be, but how easy it is for them to get that value. It's the same debate with crossbows, I say all the time. Crossbows, um, pound for pound, are better than standard archers, but they shoot slower, they don't have blind, they have ball firing arcs, um, they just, they need a lot more to make them work. But if you can get them to work, my goodness, um, then, uh, then they're going to blow standard archers away. Come on, fellas. Alright. 
Hurry up and come die. Now we don't really want to shoot these ones because they got shields. So shoot the bane guard. See if we can start plinking down the bane guard numbers before they get here. Alright, you guys are gonna get in range anytime today. Yeah, you guys, muck around, absolutely. Absolutely, by all means, muck around. Come on, kill him. These are some pretty good archers, by the way, shooting into these these lads. Let the javelins fly. Yep, javelin them up. One more, 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 more volleys, more volleys. Take them out, take them out. Chase them down. You guys are fast, apparently. I've been told. The battle is very much in our Only half the enemy force remains. It's good ammunition. Go. Chase him, chase him, chase him. Okay. Finish with that. Let's get a recharge. They're routing us. Good. Chase him down. That's enough. Come back to here. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. No, 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 no. Stop firing. Stop firing. Stop firing. Come on, fellas. Chase him down. Yeah, they are, they are good for chasing him down. Good call on that. A little bit faster. Who's, who's in this? Can you stop? You're getting in their way. They're only warmed up. They should be catching him. How fast are these guys? 98%? 110%? Like, we should be catching them. We're not- we're only just winded now. They should be exhausted. Yeah, I think we're- we are catching them now. Goodness. I was like, we're just gonna look like we're running behind them for a fair while there. That's good. Take that. The enemy are utterly vanquished. Okay. This is a great More Isengard taken out. Of only the mightiest of generals. These foresters are, are doing work. Um, very nice unit to have early on. Melee troops can do the same thing that Cav do sometimes, where they match speed and just sort of follow. Just need to double click off and double click back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, when you do that with Cav, you know that they have the speed to catch up. With the infantry, um, it's like, you you know, you're flirting with flirting with danger. Whether you you can catch them back up again. I'm used to, like, I know with elves, I always chase down units with the, with the elven um, lads. We are allies with them. Not with him. He's gonna run away, I think. The spider. We didn't see anything else here. Should just be these two units. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. I'm gonna stick you. Don't. Oh, that's a pikeman here. Uh, good thing I checked that. Uh, maybe they won't run. They didn't. I mean, that they have a lot of balance of power here. 
an Isengard Pike and an Isengard Crossbow. Like, that is... That's a lot of strength. Yeah. I mean, just look at the, look at the balance of power. Over 1,000 against 250. And it's pretty much even. Muster your courage, men! We march into battle! Okay, so the same thing. They should come to us. Now, they have crossbows. Um, which we'll just have to do a secondly. So, can we... Loose formation up on this hill. Okay. Spread yourselves a little bit wider like that. There we go. Okay, same with you, just go a touch wider. Okay. And then, yeah, we just want to absolutely load up the pikes as they come in. Just give them the full both, both barrels. Um, we don't want, them to make, don't want them to reach the line, basically. Um, yeah, just give it to them. I, I kind of want to... Um, get on to the... What are these guys? Do they have bonus against armor? They don't. I reckon I might send them around. Uh, I think I can get them engaged a little bit. I mean, they can chant even if there's one dude left, so... Um, I kind of want to get them engaged. Get some work done with them. I'll just leave these two out on the flanks. They won't be much use this battle, but these ones are going to go kill the kill the crossbows. Okay, crossbows are coming up first, um, so I'm going to pull back just a little bit. So we'll probably start shooting them, but then we'll switch over to the pikes. Urukai crossbow are, are pretty freaking good in melee as well. Um, from memory, their armor is so high. Like, there's 17 defense, and 14 of that's armor. So, seven, and, like, look, if you just looked at this as a melee unit, seven and 17. Right? Seven and 17. And ignore the fact that they're a crossbow. Seven and 17. Like, that is better than Gondor Spearman. Just, like, just as an infantry unit. I think it's better than Gondor Spearman. I know the Urukai um, infantry are like pretty much on par with Wardens of the White Tower. Because um, they have, I think they have 30 odd extra units in the models, in the, in the unit, so they pretty much beat Wardens of the White Tower. Okay. Start shooting those. I want all of you I'll fire, I'll fire. Alright, that. Okay, start coming around the flank. Okay. Slow down. One, two, three. Shoot the pikes. And wait for him to be in range. And then put the pikes as well. Come around a little bit. Hit him. Hit him with the goods. Over it. Pikes. Pikes, pikes, pikes. A little closer. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pikes. Why are you not firing? Out of range or something? Get closer. Throw, the, throw them. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Throw, 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 throw. Only half the enemy force remains.
Finish throwing the javelins and then we'll charge in. And the axes. Go, 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 go. Come on. Let's go. Uh, hold flat, hold flat, hold flat, hold flat. See if you can route him, maybe. Please surround him. Let's see how these guys fight. I haven't, I haven't seen them in the mix. They kind of got like a big old, big old uh, glaive type weapon. Looking nice. Oh yeah, another Isengard general down. Custom general at that. This is a clear victory. Nice. That's pretty good. Take out some high value units. Just remember that Doomstack has is like full of them, so. Hmm. Okay. An honorable, glorious victory. Making camp, my lord. Orders. Yes, okay. my lord. Get him. Don't let him get away. Hopefully he's trapped in. He's within his own control of this Gondor army, so he can't walk through here. Um, so, because he's neutral with them, not allied. So he'll have to kind of go. Yeah, he, he, I think he's trapped. I'm gonna it lets us see the faction air. Yeah, he's the faction air. I reckon, unless there's a general in here, My Lord. the um, he might be the last general apart from Saruman. We might be able to do like a snipe on Isengard. That's this is it's like this. I'm really embodying embodying the the Enith way way. Right, we are full on guerrilla tactics. We are not fighting fairly at all. Um, okay. Yeah, we're not building anything here. Just destroyed everything. <laughs> I actually might even defend Eisenrun. Didn't quite get into the settlement. Where's that big army going? Lothlorien's talking to me. What do you guys want? Want some trade? We bring word for you. Sure. It was a fair deal, yes. You want to also have Another some map information? Us, then? Um, so you know where one is. So 600. This proposal oh, come is on. a little interest. Your modest wealth. Until we meet again. Okay, so that Gondor army moved. That's okay, we're gonna give it to you. Don't declare war on me. I'm gonna give it to you. Relax. No, they blocked the freaking path! Oh, they moved, they moved. Good. Uh, you guys, you let him out! You let him out! There's another general there. Yes, please. Air on my tongue? Okay, where's the diplomat? Your orders. Oh, is he really not in range? Has he blocked the... Don't think we can get him this turn, eh? If only I could. Approaching their dignitary. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Really? Yes, my lord. Don't have military access with Gondor, so I kind of don't want to annoy them. Um, he's out of range. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. I could, yes, I could reach him with this guy, but 
I feel like that's a character reset, not gonna lie. Yes, my lord. I mean, fair enough. What's his name? I don't even know if I'll be able to do it because I don't know how to do the special, um... I don't know if I need the special lettering. I don't know, I didn't need the special, um, accents. Always right. happy to deal with you, trusted friends. So, you can have... Derwath. You have Derwath? You have modest wealth. Look, I want some military access so we don't annoy each other. And then you're going to give me like 10,000, right? It's generous. I accept this one the pleasure beautiful. was all ours. Farewell. You guys can have that. Okay. Now, the issue is now we're back on a border here. <laughs> um so Where's my spies? My lord, approaching quietly. My yeah, your job is to keep an eye on this guy. You keep an eye on where he goes. You're tracking alerts. Approaching quietly. Approaching on him. Quietly. I shall continue. Right. Your orders, my lord. So we probably need to get back to here and re and reform. Um. Any mercenaries? Yes, uh, there were some mercenaries in this in this sector. With honor. Sector. Do my playing Warhammer or something? Um, yeah, because we, we don't want to engage that. So come back around to here. Yes. We can go no further, my lord. Your will, my lord. Yes. Yeah, so that we will probably bring Gondor into the war. My lord. Um have some have some free upkeep while we're waiting. Your orders, my lord. Okay. Nothing got built this turn apart from troops and the general. That's right. Okay, so this is a he should be just I wanna see if he's got night fighter. Okay. So this I mean the Enid Waithian. This this trait here'd be cool if um if the uh if this gave something, right? It just has no effect. I feel like it's sitting there waiting for a trait to be attached to it. Something. Because Middleman has a trait. Mordag has a trait. It needs a trait. Um, yes, my lord. Now, I feel like I should probably... I mean, you're making me a lot of money. But I'm going to have to have someone else here. You're as, you're as good as it. You're probably going to be the, the governor for here. You're lazy. Taxes, income. I probably don't want that. I'll probably move you out at another point. How much how much upkeep am I Lord, saving by having you in here? Yes, my lord. 330. And what are you what's the difference in income? Yes. 200 at the moment. You have any like uh Yeah, you've actually got some good stuff. Minus two percent construction costs. I think I will leave you in there for now. Two percent trade, yeah. So what we'll do is this lad Lord can go come down to Long Engrand. Start governing down here. We can go no further, my lord. And I'll be able to get him out. And we'll put a free upkeep here. Uh, two in there. One, two, jump in. Yes, my lord. We'll probably just keep relying on mercenaries as much as we can here. Diplomat, just hang around in this area. Uh, between Rohan and and Gondor. Oh yeah. Still making money? Good. So pretty much we can invest all we want into these ones. It's just still... I kind of want to go take Karas. Maybe we go do that now. Could they get another two of these next turn? Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll sit here and defend and wait. And then if nothing happens, we'll go take Karas. And if worst comes to worst, we can come back and take back Bregnas. It's not like we're we're terribly attached to it. 
Um, I mean, if this doesn't, if this doesn't help Rohan, I don't know what will. I'm really annoyed that Lurtz got away. That was, that's a, that's a super pain. I did not want him to get away. Oh, okay. There's war. Oh, goodbye, Rohan army. Oh, you're gonna retreat. How much do you take out? Oh my goodness, you took out a sliver. A sliver of the banner on the flag. Ugh. Oh, if you go into Eisen Run. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can. Oh no, stuff Karas. I'm gonna kill I'm gonna kill him. We gotta keep the guerrilla tactics up. <laughs> we gotta gotta keep the guerrilla tactics. Avari for du Duinian. Okay. Um Your orders, my lord. Let's go back. Yes. We're combining forces. With honor. Would you wish to speak to me? Did I get military access with these guys? I did. Okay. Yes, my lord. Yes. You hiding there? You're not hiding. Just keep out of range of this guy, right? That's that's the main thing. Once again, just keep approaching on him. Um, See so what's happening over there. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. With honor, have a taste of my blade. I mean, we can retreat if they if they come that far, but I think we'll be okay. Um, definitely want to kill Lutz. Then there's this general I'm here. Stick you. Where's my cav? Ordered. Yes. Can you hide. Hide there. Good. Well Do a little bit of hiding. Your orders, my lord. Okay, you can then go. By your order. Your will, my lord. Yes. March to exhaustion. Continuing later. Oh, three units, even. Keep filling up the forts. Okay. Guerrilla tactics. It's all what we're about at the moment. So that's brought Gondor into the war immediately. For better or worse, they're now in the war. Um, still a full garrison. I doubt Gondor will have the strength to take that out either, really. Next turn we're getting every everything's constructing. Yeah, I think we did the right call going for the mason souls there. Um, yes, my lord. What I did want to know is your orders, my lord. Orders. Yes. You to the front. Yes, my lord. My lord. We'll make camp here. Your orders, my lord. Hey, mercenaries here. Yes. Yeah. These still haven't been taken. Good. Now, if we do go for Isengard, I kind of want it to be a, a knockout blow because if we take Isengard, there'll be another army spawned in. So if we're going for it, it's kind of like the, the regicide hit. Oh, we might get both those generals. Oh, it's a good day. And that army's moving away, perfect. Oh, what? Oh, come off it. Woods and preparing to ambush me. Come off it. We are well concealed from the Your forces are attacked by an army of Isengard. They were hiding. They were hiding.
Yeah, but it should say your ambush failed or something, right? Means they likely have a spy nearby. Uh, guess so. Guess that's possible. Um, so, how far did they march? I feel like I'm better going to the battle and then retreating from the battle. Um, as opposed to re-withdrawing from here. Because if I withdraw from here, they might still catch me and I won't be able to withdraw from battle. So, if we go in and then manually... No, that's only if they can't see it. So, they saw my ambush there. The tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. Is there anything here that I can skirmish, or is there... What's my speed? One hundred. No, I don't risk it. Just withdraw. Off the battlefield. Our enemies have snatched okay. victory from us like thieves in the night. They will not be so lucky next time. Good morning, uh, Diggy Doo Doo. Welcome in. Greens from Germany. Welcome in. Welcome in. First time chat. Lovely to have you here. Retreat. See, look at that. They've retreated back. Now, if we'd just done our flag retreat, they would have gone a few tiles and maybe got caught again. Now, look, I see two generals there. We can catch them. Perfect. And the big army's off trying to pilfer Rohan. What's the time over there in Germany at the moment? It'd be like... Eight hours, maybe, from when I am. So, like eight in the morning, maybe? Something like that. Vegas train lost. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. But they they fell back. Now, that army's hiding in there somewhere. Orders. Eight in the morning. Yes. Wow, look at that. I'm somewhat of a mathematician myself. Uh... <laughs> Probably just come into the settlement so we have a few guys there together um, in case we are attacked. But this is the big prize here. Lurts plus another general. You can take out both of them. Then it it may... There's no general in here. It it may just be Saruman in Isengard. He's there alone. Oh, he has... He has, he has a... Um, auto garrison. But... happening over here approaching quietly okay so they've got some units in in Hornburg use all your movement keep an eye on him approaching quietly okay um we're gonna send them all next turn Can you catch up get with them to exhaustion continuing later this is, this is I, I keep wanting to go back to take Karas, but I'm seeing two good opportunities here to take out do damage to Isengard I mean the the greed the greed is there okay so I'm thinking we just go fisherman's guild house gives me a bit of everything Like, that'll give me a bit of extra trade, but yeah, just an additional plus 150 is pretty good. And go for the big, go for the big ticket items. Um, although, because what's the, hang on, what's the, um, yes, my lord. what's his upkeep? 240? Hold up. Ah, uh, no, 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 yes. no, 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 get the free upkeep, get that one. And over here, I think we do need a, uh, a meeting hall. We need to train some units. We train bandits, we can train the Keefe Huntsman. Yeah, so we'll get it. We'll get a meeting hall there. This is basically how I managed to kill Isengard, but I did it with my faction leader and a unit of Cav. He sallied out against me by himself. That's what I'm. I I have I have designs. I have designs. Um, Your orders, my you, lord. You you just 
You've just spoiled my designs, Blarant. <laughs> I was thinking of similar similar plans. Because um, I don't think- we can't get in there and kill him with the thousand, so I thought I'd have to make him come out. Right. Yes, my lord. Remember he's a beast? Oh yeah, I, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'll have to send my hard hitters. Um, right. With honor. As you come on. Now <sighs> truth. Guess our army's getting pretty small, isn't it? Um <laughs> I probably sh I should just deny. Oh, they're both okay, they're not attackers, that's fine. And was he a night attacker? I should have attacked the settlement. Ah oh, no, he's a night fighter as well. Wouldn't have made a difference. So they're coming in from their right flank. Better shoot most of that. I mean, we're not going to have much left to get to get over to Isengard anyway. <laughs> it's going to be a small strike force. We attack. Yeah, I I know he's a beast. I'm 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 well aware. I'm hoping if I just send whatever I have left over, he might sally out because I don't think I'll have much left after this. We get the cab unit over, that's the main thing. There's some ambushed units between me and them though, so that was what's holding you back at the moment. But this is still a big hit. If we can take out these two generals, um, then we're, we're just one step closer. Uh, go like that. Uh, so we don't want to deal with Lurts at the same time. We'd prefer just to deal with the first army. Big open battlefield. But he's coming in from that side. Um, Lurts we can just surround. It's not that much of an issue. Berserkers are all that defense skill, so if you surround them then they die pretty quick. Um, Javelins. You just overload the javelins on one flank. Probably put the these ones over here. Let me see. And then our our singers. The enemy have brought up more men. Okay, they're coming in. Yeah, they're not waiting for alerts. They're overconfident. Maybe they should be. Maybe I'm the overconfident one. It's a reasonably sized army. With a general as well. Don't really care about them. There's pretty few of them. Uh, in fact, all of you just... Yeah, you're on hold fire. Can you shoot the raiders? Wait till they're in range. Shoot the raiders. I'll give them a couple of volleys. Why not? Yeah, okay, shoot these raiders. The raiders while they're on top of the um Fight, 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 fight. Hit him, hit him, hit him. I didn't go loose formation. It's only the one archer unit. Maybe I should have. Let's try and wear this one down. Um, yeah, just keep shooting that one. Because I really would like to use my javelins on the bodyguard. You need to support this flank because they're only too too deep. Yeah, can you come over? To, come to here. Bro. Take them out. Axe throwers, archers. On their shoot route. Please route. They're shaking. Sing. 
Sing fellas. Something changes in the course of battle for defeat. Yeah, sink. Go into there. Attack that. Okay. Weave your way through. Uh, what are they doing here? They're pushing. They're pushing right through the line. Get into here. This this didn't route as fast as I wanted. That's better. Okay, good. Come around the side. Come around the side. Facing forward. No, 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 no. General at the general at the general at the general at go 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 fire 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 come into here yeah throw 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 come on point blank throw him the enemy are badly bloodied. Lurtz is coming over. Pull out, pull out. Start shooting at those. Over there. Come on, javelins. Come on, javelins. Come on, Antwaith. I need you. Do your thing. Javelin them. There we go. Javelins, javelins, javelins. Start shooting them, start shooting them. Can we win this flank yet? Apparently not. Do your thing, kill them. Across. You've got lots of javelins you haven't thrown yet. Throwing. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Fire into that. Fire into this. And they're just not giving up on this, are they? Shooting them. Run, 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 run. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Come on. You should be able to take him out, fellas. They're just some archers. Apparently not. They're freaking eyes and guard archers. Shoot, 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 like shoot, this, shoot. We will smash yeah, they're routing. Okay, good. Come on. Run around. Walk them back in front. Let's go break the archers. Okay, can all of you come reset yourselves over here? Need one of you to come help with the berserkers. I haven't surrounded them as I said I would. Get over here. Channel a little louder over this way. Okay, just run them around. Okay, just hold fire for now. This should do. Charge into there. Posture check. Oh, sit myself up. Okay. And you kind of run across that way so that they don't. So you're not running across in front of other units. Oh. Chant it up. Keep everyone in. Coming. Fire. Big Babalu, welcome in. Managed to catch the live stream again. Glad to have you here. We are do we dove headfirst into a new Antwerp campaign, and not we dove headfirst into Isengard. That's probably the bigger point. Chant it up, chant it up. Is this guy down? Is he down? Yeah, he's down. Come on, keep shooting. Can you like run across in front so the archers can shoot him. Shoot him. Kill Lurts. I always find it ironic killing lurts to arrow fire, you know. 
I find a certain irony in that. Good tidings. Streams so late for your time zone. Well, this is my afternoon streams, not my nighttime streams. Come on, kill him. You guys still have some javelins as well. If I can get you far enough away, I might be able to get you to, um... That's fine. Back over here. Okay, our javelins. Ready to turn around. The enemy army flees Ooh, the field. hold up. Pursue and run them down. Is Lurtz in there? We, did we kill Lurtz? Is that a different one? I don't know if we killed him. Alright, everyone. Chase. Whoever's fastest, get there. You fellas look pretty quick. What's this do? Combat effectiveness, permanent fatigue reduction. That seems good. Permanent fatigue reduction. Get some of that. You're not going to get there. You're not going to get there. You're too slow. You're too slow. You're too slow. You're too slow. You're too slow, you're too slow, get out of the way. You're too slow. My your my weekday streams are 2 a.m. for you, so you only catch the weekends. Waiting for a Gundabad campaign. It'll happen. It'll happen. Just like there was a time when it was like, oh the Anduin and the Inithwaith campaigns were so far away. Well, the Anduin's complete now. We're here doing Earth Wave. It'll happen. Just gotta... Just gotta wait for it. I think we did get the general, but I don't think that guy's a general. Can we kill him, please? What is going on? Get out of the way. You guys are slowing everyone down. The enemy are oh, yeah. utterly vanquished. This is a great so that should be two generals dead. Only the mightiest of generals. Lost a fair bit. A little bit healed. Gee, we are so low on troops. We still have our good core of archers though. 117, 17, 168. So a good core of archers. Which means we can take small armies. But another force like that we'd probably really struggle with. Like we're kind of running on fumes at the end there in terms of our infantry line. Execute. Okay, so we take this and give it back to... Give it back to Rohan. Um... <laughs> I think Rohan have a better chance of defending it than than uh, Gondor. Yes, my lord. Yeah, we can reach Rohan this turn. My lord, my lord. So take Your this, orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Where's my? Your will, my lord. There's there's a friggin' army here, and my lord. I really want my cab to get over here for this battle. It's hiding in here. Unless that was the force that came back. I don't think so. I'm gonna stick you. Your orders, my lord. So take this one, occupy. An honorable Remember they had a spy there before? Victory. Yeah. A most but there's there's an army quest. here as well. So I'm um the one that tried to get me. I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking Eisengard, Eisenrun and selling it again. Also, in the meantime, let's let's destroy that. Um, <laughs> yes. my lord. Yeah, where? Have a taste of my blade. So lord, out we hop. Um, Mr. Yes, Diplomat, come over here. Without question, it is good to see you, my friend. Uh, you you guys want that Eisenrun settlement again? <laughs> 
Here you go. Eyes and run. Modest. Look, 10,000. I mean, I'm draining Rohan's um, economy here, but they don't need it apparently. A most generous Happily offer. accepted. We gladly accept. Happily accepted. Well, that seemed fruitful. Nice. Yes. Okay. Stopping here. So I that means our settlement's tomorrow. safe again. Um, yes. No mercenaries here. <laughs> they may pay 15k. You aren't asking for any alliance. Ah, oh, see, I'm, I'm happy to get 10. Um, 10's enough. I, I'd rather definitely get it than than not get it. Um. See how much movement. It's hard to tell how much movement this guy has because he's blocked by the Gondor army. I think he could get like somewhere to about because I'm looking at where he can get I'm down here, and it's a long way, right? Your orders, my lord. But we got to be. Look, we're gonna go for this. Get up here. With honor, we can go no further. We're within range of Isengard next turn. It's just Saruman in there. Hopefully, he doesn't build anything, and then the decision will be. How many troops do we send to try and bait I'm him out? Because I, I can't, I can't defeat this. Like, if I look at this army, this Urukai infantry unit, and this All Thank Guard unit, and probably like, if I pick like four of these units, would be enough to wipe everything I have. Like, not just here, every military force, <laughs> you know, every troop I have on the entire map, that would be enough to destroy. So. Anything else? Two, three, four, five, two. Okay. So we'll send them next turn. Everything we'll march out next turn. Um, and we can probably add to it here as well a little bit. Yes, my lord. Anything else we can do? My lord. You're on there. You're looking my at this. 58%. I probably won't risk the spy unless it's you reach there? No, you're, you're looking at this guy. Impossible, my lord. Okay, let's see. Please, that big army, don't go near me. Yep, just zone of control them. Perfect. Perfect. They got zone of control. Well done, Rohan. You did it. You did everything you had to do. You just stopped that army from coming back. They went for Hornburg anyway. We just got Zona controlled. That sucks. <laughs> well, we might be okay because he marched out of it. Yeah, we're okay. It would be if if this tile if we couldn't get through. They haven't recruited anything. I'm gonna stick Holy you. mackerels! That's a lot of dudes. Please let them try to take Hornburg. There's a huge auto garrison. Yeah. And they've almost they've already got units here. So if they try and attack that, that's blade. they might take it, but even if they do, they I'm won't have much left, you. I think. Yes, my lord. <sighs> Where's my spy? My lord. Approaching. There's no general in here, no one spawned in. Is there a general here? Don't think so. I'm all in at this point. My lord. My lord. Your orders, my lord. How much? I'm just concerned about this army right now. Because if I go and siege. And this army comes to try and break the siege. Well, that, they'll definitely attack then, won't they? They'll definitely attack. Have a taste of my yes, my lord. What we, what we could do if that happens is just focus killing Saruman and lose the battle. Just kill the general, but lose the war. If that was is what if it comes to it. Um Lose the battle, win the war. Yes. <gasps> the mercenaries. Uh, yeah, yeah, grab him, grab him. Because, look, we got a couple of turns here. So we'll siege. Just grab a, just grab a ram, just so we have one for prosperity. Um, 
Now, if they don't try and break us this turn, it's two bandits. That's Your huge. Lord, that is Lord. humongous. Um, if they don't try and break us this turn, I can pull units out and get them to try and sally out. But I think he'll come and try and attack us. Why not retreat and bring in all the forces you have on your way in the cab? No, no, this is because we can't retreat. This army over here, we can't deal with. We have to regicide um, Isengard. We've spent the last... Bofors boy, you haven't been here. We've spent the last, like, 12 turns going around killing all of um, Isengard's generals. Uh, this is this is the death stroke. If we can kill Saruman, then they, they die. And we don't have to deal with the next doom stack, right? Because there's another doom stack. Um, that will spawn if we take Isengard. So we just got to try and get rid of him. Okay. My lord, as you wish, we can go no further. Death, my lord. March to exhaustion. Continuing later. Makes sense. All in, baby. Yeah, all in. This is yes, this is lord. it. Um okay, so my you lord. my lord. Don't need the spies. What I want you to do is just Approach keep an eye on down here. Quietly. And you then keep an eye on Approaching what's happening over here. Approaching quietly. Approaching quietly. Keep an eye on where he goes. Okay. Tomorrow's journey So this army will be to probably go take this uh, settlement, which has got a lot of good units in it. Uh, this isn't enough by itself. We need the cav and a general and and some other units as well. When we get a chance, retrain that. Right. Okay. Uh, one thing before we send that army out. Is there any mercenaries oh, here? Man. Nope. Yes. No mercenaries about over here. Yes, my lord. No mercenaries. Okay. With honor. Righto. This is it. <laughs> No, don't try and attack them. You'll lose. Come on. Attack me. Oh, freaking Gondor are in. Gondor are in. Yes. Yes. No, please, 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 please. Damn it, you... Sons of bitches. They didn't attack. Okay, that's okay. The other army's not back yet. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now, we're not, we can't win the battle if we go in. We can't attack it. But what we can do now, now that we got these additional bandits, I'm happy to... Yeah, they won't be dragged in. They're not close enough. He didn't even stand right next to it. Ah, it's a pain. This was this army that was over intercepting, though. We know where that is now. Keep making your way across. Uh, yes. Retrain him and recruit him. Good. Oh, we get fishermen here, don't we? Yeah, because of the, the fisherman's guild house. Hmm. Very good. More of those. Uh, so... You know what? Get another smoking house. I want more spies. Uh, probably not right now, actually. No, we're fine with spies. Go with... I want more cab. That's what I actually want. You always cheese and put one unit on the far side and keep the rest on one side. Simon will attack the lone army. Yeah. I, I'm aware of that. I try and avoid doing it, but in this situation, I might. <laughs> I might do it. Um... Yeah, I want more cav. Cav isn't coming in fast enough on me. Two turns. And here. So we have to prepare for the fact that Dunlin might attack us. Um, and this is our border settlement. So let's start getting some defenses here. Okay, yes, so we go for the attack here. As you command. 
Yeah, we're not waiting 11 turns, so that doesn't matter. Pulling back from the walls. We might have uh, we might have a small enough army next turn anyway for him to attack after this. Like, it's not a lot here, but there's in a, in a way there is. Attack! Check for more mercenaries as well. Been, I've been blessed today with the hills, eh? We had some nice, nice hills to set up on. With our archer-focused army, really running low on others. Okay. Okay. So, keep them here, chanting. My flanking forces has become quite small. My front line is now Bandit, Pike, Bandit. Yeah, keep the Pikes in front of the General. Uh, and then what's left of our, our Javelins. Side, check the. So you're kind of a javelin unit as well, Gogo. Standing it. Okay. Then saying there's not a lot of them, but the, there is. Because they're so... I'd rather them all be in like a couple of units because then they're easy to focus. Um, shoot these archers, that's like the biggest... biggest. The archers are the biggest chunk, so that's what we're going to shoot. Uh, actually, you shoot that one. You shoot that one. You shoot this one. So just start laying out the... laying out the... archers. Probably should have gone loose formation, honestly. I didn't... I didn't look at it. I did look at it, but I didn't comprehend that there were mainly archers. We have already got some, some early kills, and we're still firing in. That's good. Hit javelins. Come over to here. Get ready to throw at anything that comes into range. Come on, come on archers, you can do it. Yeah, there's some Urukai Raiders coming in, so that's what we'll use our ammunition on. Uh, could you hit the... You two hit that. Hit the, hit the vanguard. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will Take be the ours. vanguard out. That's a good unit. Don't have to deal with that. We got the pikes. Okay. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay. How are we going? Fifty-seven percent killed. The uh, Brooklyn Spear Guard. They're into the bandits. One, shoot him down. Shoot him down. Uh, shoot that. Get in there. Take them out. How are we going? 83%? Yeah, it's too late. You know what I realized I should have done? I should have let some get away. Although they didn't they didn't route. They didn't route yet, so it wouldn't have worked. But I was thinking if I'd let some get away, they would have retreated right next to the um settlement, and then we would have had to draw out. This guy must be the captain the or something. Army flees the field. Pursue yeah. and run them down. Yeah, it was already 85% when, when I thought of that, but yeah. Would have made a difference because it was they didn't route. Okay. 
This is a so 151 victory. lost. So that's 151 less than the previous turn. Um, that Saruman will be thinking about. There is another force coming over. Um, and as long as that other main army is occupied sieging the Hornburg, there's not any great rush. I think we can just siege up again with everything this turn um, and see what happens. Could have released him. I don't know if I released they would have gone to hero here, I'm not sure. Because I was pointing this way, so they might have ran back there. But are they within range? No, they're not. Your orders, my lord. Can you just check? Yes, my lord. Yeah. Splitting our forces. No bandits. Honor. Assembling a mighty host. Have a taste of my blade. Your orders, my lord. Yes. Siege again. I definitely want to put it under siege because I don't want them to recruit any more units. As long as we're sieging, yes. they're not recruiting. This is under siege as well. And this army's trapped. So they've got two lots of forces, basically. That's that's all we're all we're dealing with. Which is why I want to leave the army together. Yes. Um, because I don't want to make them a error here and get caught out. Uh, and not have enough, basically. My lord. Yeah. That's everything we can do for this turn. Uh, yeah, diplomats there. Spy. Just come down a little more. Approaching still held by, still held by Gondor. My lord. I just want you to keep an eye on this, quietly. this one. Approaching quietly. My lord. And you're there. Come around there. See. Is there a spot where you can see both of those? No. Out there. I'm gonna stick you. Okay. Let's try again. They, they might even go in here. They might try it. They're feeling confident. Come on, Isengard. What are you going to do? You going to attack the Hornburg? What are you going to do, Isengard? They're attacking. Okay. <sighs> Stretch it out. Oh. Now, whatever happens in this battle, whatever happens in this battle, Saruman dies. Okay? Chieftain Don Shedded. Um, John Kudded. Um, he's prepared to give up his life for the greater good here. You are going to go down. This is what we're dealing with. Guard of the Hand. 78 of the best soldiers in Middle Earth. 30 defense. 10 melee attack, 12 missile attack, 6 charge, effect against armor, frightens nearby enemies, reliable everywhere, pretty much, or woods, deserts, inspires. It, it is it is the works. It's not unbreakable, though pretty much think it is. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it break before. Maybe after Saruman dies and everything else is gone, maybe it'll break. <sighs> He's prepared to give up his life and you can't even pronounce his name. <laughs> yep. That's it. Now, what is actually coming in from this army? So we got Raiders, Clanmen, Reavers, Frecklingers. Now, I, admittedly, I don't want to lose this guy. So let's think about this objectively. Simon's are coming in as reinforcements. How much armor piercing do we have here? With the Javelins, a fair bit. So they'll be coming in from our... So this guy's making the attack. So he's coming in from our back right. Back right middle. Back right middle will be where he's coming in. 
got cab, no archers in this army. Back right middle. Muster your courage, men. We march into battle. Your tier one jabs aren't armor piercing though. Yeah, but they still got a lot of they still got a lot of damage. They still got like what at seven damage or something. So, um, what are they at? Got seven missile damage. It's still it's still a lot. Um, and these it's not many of these. Only fourteen of them left. And we got bows. We got bows. So back, right, middle, over here. Okay, so what we need is javelins. Okay, come around on this flank. Old fire. Along with the archers. That. No, 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 no. Other way. Like that. I think it's a little bit further along, actually. It's more like over here. Um, so, you need to chant. Keep everyone in the fight. And then we're going to hold them in place with a couple of lads. Uh, and probably have some... 150 of those. They got armor piercing. Once the javelins are done, they're going to come in from the other side. Keep the Tutu on the right. Um, you want to isolate Saruman from his unit and charge with your AP unit? That's a good call. That's a good call. Like, that means I might I might put all of the um, javelins on the left then. And the and the ca and the the cav. I wish I had cav. Put these guys on this side. Like that. Okay, and then we need the bandits. Bandits just need coverage, so if wherever he comes in, we need to get him engaged in melee straight away. And then you guys are going to hit the... actually hit Saruman proper, and then you're just going to keep everyone in the fight. <sighs> okay. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Perfect. Okay. Keep everything. You guys are gonna run to like just there. You know, all be right behind. Okay. Come in from this side. Um, and then we want javelins to there. Archers on this hill. In fact, archers might even be used to start shooting the. Yeah. Um, you two set up here, start shooting the other army. Um, let's have something blocking them. Uh, and then you, oh, because you're the highest attack, come over here. Okay. Run, run, run. Get in there, get in there, get in there, go, 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 go. Get in here. Stop them from firing. Now you guys just stand there. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Right in here, right in here, right in here. Get close, get close, get close, get close. Right, and then throw. Throw. Hit him on that side. Go like this. Hit him. Okay, now bringing him down.
Come on. You guys are armor-piercing, get in there. Get over here, start chanting. Okay, Saruman's kind of getting isolated. I kind of just want to surround him with everything. Screw it, just get in, get in, get in. I'm going to use the archers for the, um, for the other army. Surround him, completely surround him. Try and hit him with everything. Chanting, okay. Fire. There's Reavers. I care so much about the clan spear, we need to kick, take the Reavers out. They get off defensive. They got the Reavers. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost their Hit him with that. When he's surrounded, he's got the armor piercing and get into him. Come on, chop him down, chop him down, chop him down. Thirty-six of them left. We're chanting. Keep the chants going. Okay, um, switch to those. You two keep hitting those. Turn around. Got to block this cab charge. Stop chanting. I don't know if they can fight and chant at the same time, but... Come on, die! He's surrounded. He's getting chopped from all sides. Chop him down. Come on, fellas. You'll do your worst. Come on, Elders. you got bonus against Cav. Best you got. Keep shooting that. Keep shooting that. Yes! He's down! Saruman has fallen. You can all turn tail and run, you stupid orcs. Okay. Yeah. Turn around. Just turn around. Bandits, turn around. Hop out there. The, the battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Now we just gotta hope that you didn't. He didn't get a general from winning this battle. They're not gonna win the battle. What are you talking about? We're gonna win the battle. You looking at this? We're lighting them up. I don't know if you're looking at the rest of this battle. <laughs> well, I'm giving it to him. I looked at this hill and I went, that's a nice hill to have some archers on. We'll use the archers against the next army coming in. Can I save you? Start chanting. One lonely guard of the hand. Heh <laughs> go run away. Okay, they can hit with poison arrows. <laughs> Last left message came a little late. It's all good. Yeah, they're, they're not going to progress too much there, actually. Just pull back, pull back. Kill these guys. What's going on here? Nice, take them out. Their bandits are doing a good job holding them up. Army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Take him out. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that was a that was a nice hill to have there. That was really good. And gave it to the art, gave it to him coming in. Okay, I don't think there's enough making your way here. Ninety-five percent. Yeah, it should be in French in the clue. We'll let him chase him down though. Make sure we get him. Don't sell Isengard? No, I wasn't going to. My goodness, what are you talking about? <laughs> you think I'm mad? No, I'm not selling Isengard. Uh, they're doing that thing. Run through, run through. No, I don't. Okay. Oh, we got a couple. Okay. Heroic victory. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of <sighs> our most glorious victory. The guerrilla tactics. The guerrilla tactics have done it. Execute. Yes. Oh, you son of a bitch. It went rebel. And now they're attacking us. <laughs> well, looks like I'm not getting Isengard this turn. Holy shit. Um, well, well, we'll withdraw. We are disgraced. Fall back and retreat. You got it on turn 26. Well done. With that, I think you've beaten Isengard faster than I did. Well, that's okay. Isengard can sit there. All right, thanks being overrun. I'll take it. All not being assaulted. All thank troubles. Yeah, no kidding. Take Isengard. Is it just? Is this empty? It's just empty. Your orders, my lord. Well, we'll definitely take that. Kingdom of Dale. Clever on rune. And 25. Faction has been destroyed. Um, yeah, so Rohan will have to deal with that. Um, they're still sieging up there. Yes, my okay, lord. Let's... Your orders, my lord. Leaving the army. Occupy. As you command, we have triumphed. Low, low taxes, Our thank you. And honor have conquered. Okay, will, merge. Merge anyone. Will, Take these. Victory in your name, my lord. We have won, my lord. Okay. We are victorious. We have conquered. Now go take your homelands. Magnificent battles, well done all around. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That was... I We played that about as, as well as we could. Um... Just... Sit them in here this turn. Oh, we could march them out. They're not. They're not worth much, are they? Um, we need. Do need more troops to take. To take Karas. We want to focus that right straight away. Um, Eisen run. I think, I think we'll move them out straight away. Uh, yeah, get more of those. Give them up. My fort. Yes. Yeah, go sit in that we fort. Go no further today. Um, nothing else here. Yeah, I think we will just march them straight over. Um, my lord, your will, my lord. As you wish. Orders, my lord. By your, your will, my lord. Yeah. My lord. I just want to take those two forts. Right, so they'll go to later. here, we can go and no you'll have to stay today. there to to govern. Gondor just left Durwath completely empty. It's not common. Yeah, well, it's fine. They can have it. Um, Isengard will keep. I think we're the only ones who can attack it. Uh, unless... I don't know. Don't know if that counts as a border there. I don't think it does. I don't know. It's a weird one, that one. Because um, there's a river between it and the settlement. It's weird. But... Um, even if Gondor does attack it, they're not getting in there. 
there's there's trolls so it'll um eisenrun's the only border yeah so uh it's it's it'll keep for us it'll keep for us until we until we can get some troops to take it um try look at anything else to recruit this turn no, that's all we don't need boats they're heading to the fort uh while you guys are waiting you three can probably wait in that fort just while we're waiting to save a little bit of money uh, for them to come across. Your will, my lord. But remember, you now border Dunland. Time to kill another faction. Yeah, we've got we're working on garrison garrison structures here. I'm well aware. Uh, in fact, these guys are the the Dunland defense force. Going to start getting into these ones. Did this hasn't been taken either? We go bang bang down here. Anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, that's going to be the end of our first episode as uh, Enid Waith. Um, ah, we've done so much more than what I thought we would today. So uh, this is, I mean, it looks a little bit weird currently with our borders. Oh, Frigg. Gondor took Karas. Okay. Well, that'll be something to deal with next. <laughs> I'll start that outro again. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And, uh, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.